Hello, and welcome to a very special uh, edition of Apparatus Precipice, where we play the Expanse role-playing game. We've been doing it for three and a half years now, uh, playing Green Ronin's uh, awesome sci-fi rendition of one of our favorite uh, you know, stories, uh, books and uh, TV show and media and everything that has going for it. We love it all. I'm John Boltina. I'm the Game Master, and I've been running this huge campaign of the Expanse now for a while. Uh, and we have been honored, privileged in fact, you might say, to have an excellent working relationship. That's not that's high render. They haven't told me that's what they call it, but I, I like to call it that. With Green Ronin Publishing. And if you don't know, they have a new uh, edition, kind of a quality of life update of The Expanse coming out called the Transport Union Edition. I wrote it on a little note on my screen here, so I remember to say that correctly. And they have been kind enough to send us the manuscript for the new quick start adventure called Lost But Not Alone. So we thought we'd play it. We thought we'd come out here and hang out and try out the new rules, try out this new thing. And, and most importantly, and I know Scott's very excited about this down there, uh, not play our normal characters from the show that we play. <laughs> um, <laughs> we, we know that space is hard and dangerous and uh, we'd like to make sure that our commitment of a three years into a character uh, we can have a little more fun we're not so attached to it. Um, so I thought I'd go through and uh, introduce, uh, let everyone introduce themselves, tell you who they are, uh, what the experience kind of means to them, what their experience with it is, and then who they're playing today. Uh, and these are all the pre-made characters out of the adventure. Uh, we're very excited to kind of show them off and, and uh, have fun with them. And they're, they're a good lot, actually. It's a good, it's a good crew. Um, they are crewing uh, a ship, which I will get to after they introduce themselves. So let's go ahead and kick off. Uh, Mike, why don't you start off with us? Uh, my name's Mike Shung. I love uh, Expanse lore, alien tech, sort of the horror aspect of it all. Um, and today I'm be playing uh, Koa Garcia, an ex-MCRN, um, but I'm an engineer of the ship. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Awesome, awesome. All right, next up, I think we have Marcy. That's me. Uh, my name is Marcy Brown, and... Um, I really love all of the expanses uh, exploration into culture differentiation across like colonization of space. I thought all of the details added really made both the characters and the whole entire universe come alive in, uh, in a really exciting way. Um, and today I am playing uh, Olivia Anand and uh, a Martian medic. Medic, awesome, awesome. All right, Scott, I, this is the one I'm exci most excited for because this is the, the farthest cry. <laughs> I'm going way off. I'm going way off. My name's Scott. Um, the Expanse is just probably one of the best hard sci-fi books series out there, and you can't go wrong with that. But anyways, I will be playing your Belter pilot, Phoenix, tonight. I have... It's going to be chaos. We'll, we'll put it at that. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're usually the, uh, the dad of the ship, as it would be, and now you're uh, going to be the it's rambunctious, a uh, overly... Uh, sugared up six-year-old at the hell yeah. Yeah. so i'm here I'm, I'm definitely here for that uh donna Hi, donna Pryor. i have been with expanse lore i started reading about book two and have read everything and started watching the show um i used to work with green ronin and so i was familiar with the rpg was coming out before it was announced and um, I am playing a Michael Tussard, who is an Earther, who's a retired UN Marine Corps, and hopefully I'll get to hit something. <laughs> <laughs> very cool, very cool. All right, and Claire. Hi, uh, my name is Claire Lewis. I am a uh, freelance uh, journalist for GameSpot.com, and I got involved with The Expanse when I was tapped to review the Telltale game, so I kind of got sucked. I'd been, t you know, told to watch the show, but I just didn't have time, so I finally had an excuse, and I inhaled it and just absolutely fell in love. Um, I really enjoy Cara G's performance as a drummer, uh, and I love Bobby Draper. It's just a great show, and it's so much fun to play a character, you know, from that universe. So uh, today I am playing uh, tight. Is it Titania or Titania? It's Titania. I don't know how you want to say it. Titania. Okay. I it's, think the last uh, name's Osun. 
Yeah, Osun. Osun. Titania yeah. Osun, uh, who is interestingly a belter socialite. So I'm really excited to kind of get to play this sort of uh, materialistic, uh, <laughs> you know, girly girl, look at my makeup kind of character as opposed to Gaz, who's a little more yeah. rough and tumble. And I, I think that's going to be one of the funnest parts about this is people are playing different characters that are a little far cry from what yes. they, they classically play in the show. <laughs> yeah. Uh, collectively today, the group is the crew of the Miriam Makaba, uh, named for the South African singer. Uh, and they are on a mission, which we'll go over here momentarily. Uh, in addition to, uh, but yeah, we'll, um, let's go ahead and kind of kick off into the game here. And, uh, you guys all ready to play this thing? Oh, yeah. 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 Yes. Right. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. So. Um, you, you are part, you, the, uh, Miriam Makaba, and you guys have different names for it. Some people call it the MM, some people call it the Miriam, some call it the M, whatever. Um, you have, uh, been contracted by the transport union to move stuff around the system. Now, it's been about two years since the Free Navy conflict ended and the transport union was established. This has involved a lot of like getting sure, making sure people have food, uh, resources, checking to see who survived, who didn't. Um, and as far as like uh, surveying the, the the 1300 new systems and everything, that's still kind of on the back burner. Uh, people just trying to be able to live mostly on these uh, planets that can sustain life with atmosphere and have the, what we call the builder's bias. Um, about, about two days ago, uh, your ship came through the, uh, Castilla Gate, uh, the Castilla Gate into the Castilla system, which is home to the world Castilla. I'm gonna probably get tired of saying that, but uh, <laughs> when you name things after these each other, uh, where you guys are currently hauling on the Miriam Makaba uh, substrate from Earth. So this is fertilized soil, uh, hopefully to make sure this colony can see what what is. Uh, it's kind of a it's kind of a soil sampler. Uh, the idea being that you guys are. Uh, bringing like, uh, to see what would work on the planet, right? Where they could grow, what they could grow, what would work with the local biome, what would work against it, uh, stuff like that. So just kind of relief efforts and everything. It's a pretty um, basic job and, and you know, it, it pays the bills. Uh, it's not bad. You can see the solar systems, which is really cool. And um, some of you might be here because this is your job. Other of you uh, might be because you're running away from something. And some of you might just want to be advocates for the transport union and their efforts. Um, there's a whole bunch of things going on here. But as you do, um, the Miriam Makaba is about 35 meters long. It's a basic transport ship, light freighter. Um, it has no weapons. So there's no PC cans, no torpedoes. And the only other crew on the ship besides you five are Captain Carter Gray and our comms officer, Amara Wood, both Earthers and such. And the ship is owned by a third party uh, elsewhere too, but it's kind of licensed out and hire a crew and the like. A lot of freelancers out here on the uh, new fringes and frontier. All right, any kind of questions about the ship or anything? Um, it's a pretty basic layout. Uh, it's got a galley. It's got a lot of uh, room for cargo, which are basically giant cylinders full of dirt. Uh, and they are sealed. Um, it seems like opening them would just be a bad idea in the middle of space. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, what can I ask? What are what are the like majority of the inhabitants like in terms of like are they more are they Martians? Are they more higher class or working class or lower class or you know? Castilla uh, did not do terribly well during the Free Navy conflict. It had a lot of casualties, and they were trying to get reestablished. Uh, food growth is a big okay. deal for them. Uh, they are a mix. Uh, so there's Belters, okay. Earthers, and Martians. Honestly, it's one of the bigger the bigger splits of it. Um, but they're trying to build their own society and such, try to become an independent union or a unit. Um, okay. It's unclear what their economic basis will be. Um, some planets have gone off to really grow a lot of food. Some planets have gone off to uh, be huge sources of um, new ideas for material sciences. Some have been mining colonies. It really depends. These guys, it's so early into it that they're just trying to like live at this point. So they don't have an economic right. basis and they don't really have a basis of, of anything else. There are no other um, colonies though, in the system besides just what's on the main planet. Um, but there right. are a variety of different, uh, basically like planets and, and bodies and stuff like that too. Okay. Um, any other kind of questions? Yeah, please, Marcy. This one might be completely irrelevant. 
Is, the, is the uh, soil sterilized or is it um, bio? Oh, it has life in it. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just dirt. Uh, if it yeah, has, I was yeah, going to say. It's, it's, it's soil, I think yeah, that's it the definition of soil. Yeah, it has to have microbes in it. So that's a big thing is the export of microbes in these kind of or, uh, the organic soil that can be utilized and such is a big thing. Um, Earth producing so many, so much uh, human waste products, it's actually pretty easy to produce substrate as it turns out. Um, but um, yeah, so uh, you guys are out on the frontier. Any other kind of questions about the what's going on? All right, that sounds yeah. good. <laughs> okay. So, um, you guys are out hanging out on the ship here. Like I said, you guys came to the gate about two days ago. Uh, and uh, you're on the float, just kind of going through and cruising, uh, not accelerating, just taking it easy, conserving fuel. Uh, this is a for-profit mission, so the idea is that it uses the least amount of fuel. Um, and you guys are kind of, you have at the helm of it, uh, you have Phoenix, you got uh, Koa running the engineering thing here. Um, you know, maybe Michael, you're just kind of chilling out. Uh, Titania, you're just, I mean, you don't have, really have a job on the ship, but you're welcome to hang out here. Um, I'm just fa being fabulous. Just That's fabulous. my job, right? Maybe making some content <laughs> or just checking your messages here and there. Yes, uh, the relays yeah. through the ring gates are fully established. Um, Olivia, you know, checking, you know, making sure the the nutrients in the, in the, uh, the food for the crew are good, you know, just doing the nutritionist stuff. Pretty easy. Um, you guys are out having having your your dinner, whatever it is. The ship's largely pretty automated, um, and you get a uh, as you're sitting there, Captain. Uh, you see kind of a thing kind of blinging on uh, on the screen, and uh, you've seen this happen before. It alerts. It's not like a major alert or anything like that, too. Uh, but the um, Captain uh, Gray goes over to it. And he hits it up, and uh, he goes, "Yeah, what's going on?" And it's the uh, comm officer, our uh, our good friend up top. Uh, Officer Wood. She goes, hey, we've got something going on up here, uh, Cat. You might want, you might want to take a look at this. And he goes, set it down here. And you see him kind of looking at something. And there's something on the screen. There's some information. You hear some noise come through a little bit. And you can see him kind of roll his eyes. Um, he's like, oh, shit. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> anyone here have anything? Then you guys are all witnessing this, no problem. He's not being subtle about it, trying to hide it. Got problems over there, Cat. Uh, Phoenix, yeah. Oh, uh, look. Um, yeah, he kind of moves out of the screen, points to it, and you can see this, like, you, you've seen this before, uh, Phoenix, where it, it looks like a signal's coming through. He's like, yeah, we're picking up a real weak signal off of um, uh, one of the one of the moons off of this uh, the planet. There's, like, some gas giant you guys are kind of not coming too close to, but the gas giant has such a big orbit that, like, it hasn't been near the gate for probably, like, decades, uh, well before anyone ever came through it. And that's one of the problems we're kind of having with the new systems is, like, they're still trying to establish what the orbits are like and how the planets move because they've only been looking at them for you know a do you know a dozen years versus you know hundreds or, or even thousands. And he goes, "Yeah, we got some pinging off of this uh, moon here. Um, I don't think there's any. There's no established colonies. So, so let me go. Let me take. A, he's like trying to pull up uh, data about that moon or anything like that too. Um." But uh, it's kind of it's kind of on the way to Castelia too. You guys are gonna pass not too far off of it. I mean, you're looking at things. You know this. You guys could easily swing by there quickly. I, I think we should do that. I don't want to sit around going slow and straight. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Look. Um, well, I mean, he's like, it looks like, and he kind of pulls the the thing, kicks it up, and it comes through. And it's this like automated kind of uh, distress signal. Uh, it's like a like an automated one coming just from the generic computer, uh, saying SOS, SOS type stuff. You know, here's where we are. Come find us. And he's like, Yeah. He's like, oh, I think we're obligated to actually. There's people there that could need our help. Uh, that, I mean, just... that's that's the deal. Um, but look. Uh, also, it sounds more entertaining than anything I've done all day. So. Uh, yeah. Well, it'll it's going to take us off course though by a little bit, but I guess we're obligated here. I don't want to get in foul with the transport union or the UN or Martians or whoever the hell's down there has a problem. But the, there's no ID on this. There's no like tell us who it is, what it is, and uh, you know, and you can see that the signal loss is pretty heavy on it. It's just barely coming through. It's like really, really faint. Um, honestly, it should it should be a lot stronger. Cole is going to get up and just recycle his food and be like, mm. uh, uh, "Sir, I'll, I'll go see if I can clean up the signal or run yeah. any like diagnostic." Yeah, why don't you go head up to the the deck there and uh, run run through the comms here? Uh, see if you can help out uh, Amara on that. 
And you can you can take the ladder right up, no problem. Okay. But you want can to I go up to the, the pilot seat and start, you know, changing course? Uh hundred percent, Mr. Wu, why don't you head on up? Before Captain even finishes, I was already halfway up. The two of you the, the two of you head on up, crew on up there. Uh Michael or um I gotta get everyone's name here, Titania or Olivia. Uh you you saw the the other two members of the crew, the um, the engineer and the um, the pilot, head up to the the the, the nest, the deck. Uh, what do you guys want to do? I mean, I, I think I would probably follow, just kind of like at a, at, a, at a distance. Okay. I kind of look busy, like I'm I'm looking at my hand terminal okay. and just kind of okay. you know looking for somewhere to lounge out of the way because okay. like. I'm kind of famous, and sometimes people <laughs> just kind of swamp me. Uh, and I please don't touch anything. Some privacy. <laughs> <laughs> like I would touch anything in this repulsive, dusty room. It, it's pretty of clean. It's just kind of it's just kind of old. Um, what about you, uh, Michael? What about what, what are you doing there, uh, Tessa? Um, I'm just gonna look around and uh, then go. Uh, I just assume that I'm gonna have to do something, so I'm gonna go grab all my weapons. Okay. So you head over the weapon thing, un- open up the locker. Uh, you have weapons in there. Uh, you guys have like a pair of rifles. There's a few pistols. Um, you know that um, Koa is also trained on rifles and such. Uh, and I think is it Koa and uh, who else had rifles in their sheet? Was it Olivia? I think it was. Just, I think it was. Just... I, did, uh, I got pistols and rifles. Yeah, I think... same. Same. Okay, yeah. Martians. Also Olivia. So you have three members of the crew that are trained on like he- on heavier weapons. Um, yeah. So yeah. Okay. Um, you get to the deck there, and uh, yeah, uh, Koa, go ahead and um, you get to the thing, you start trying to screw around with it. Uh, go ahead and uh, you take a look at the, the ship's sensors here. Uh, what do you want to do? You want to try to clean up the signal? You want to try to uh, pinpoint it? Like, what, what kind of stuff do you want to do with the okay? So it's coming in faint, right? Yeah, it, okay, um... you know, it's coming from one of these moons on this giant, it's a gas giant, so there's no one, yeah, no one on the planet. There is, it'd be crazy, but like the moon itself uh, is just kind of this rock floating around the, the moon. Yeah, I, I'm gonna try to calibrate it and, and help the navigation like pinpoint where the signal is coming from first. Okay, go ahead and give me uh, an intelligence technology test, right? Okay, that is 10. 10, okay, that's good. Now, where do you go to the drama die? Uh, three. Three, okay. So, you head up there, and um, you you take a look around, and, and you, you pick up that it's on this moon for sure. Um, and that the... You do find that... You do, get, you do get some information out of the signal. Namely, you get a name of the ship. Okay. And the ship, the, the ship seems to be the origin of the signal. Uh, and you can see that it's a refitted freighter. So, so it's been like, it's an older freighter. Uh, it's pretty, it's a bit bigger than your guys' ship, so it's 50 meters long. Uh, freighters like that usually carry like a lot of cargo. They don't just carry little stuff. Um, but it's it's like kind of, uh, it's on the surface of the moon. It's not in orbit, it's like on the surface. Um, you're kind of, you can see that it does have some um, aftermarket weaponry attached to it uh, and some like extra pieces attached to it. Like it's been like, worked on a lot um and you can see that it also when the, when the visuals start coming up to it when the ship gets its scanners you can see that it has some damage namely some pdc damage on it looks like it's taken a few bullet shots and you can see that its drive cone has probably been like ruptured uh, your engineering background puts you to like you know that this thing's got hit by like, a torpedo or something okay um and it does look like you can see where there's like um broken rocks on the surface like jagged like fractured rocks it looks like it hit pretty hard on the ground okay but you don't yeah. need a transponder. You don't have any uh, ID on the ship. Um, okay. Nothing like that. The, the, the nothing's coming back, but uh, you definitely have a pinpoint of it. Um, transponder could be offline for a variety of reasons. Damage, power's offline. Um, or it could just be illegally modified, too. Most likely. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and give Captain Gray all that information. Basically, we, we have a downed uh, all right. well, crater. Got, taking some damage. Visual confirmation here. Uh, looking at it. Um, if anyone else wants to look at the data, you're welcome to. Let me know. Um, but yeah, I'd like to look at it. All right, will you pull it up? You didn't look at that. Uh, give me a perception seeing test. Woo. Or, I got or you can, or you can do technology. Actually, you can actually do technology if you want to. You have a plus four technology. Let's do, yeah, let's do technology. Right, so you kind of use the, the 
ship scanners to look at it a bit more closely. Uh, I got a 12 and two on the drama die. Two on the drama die. Okay. So, yeah, you get the same information. You confirm all of Koa's findings. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, it looks like a rough landing. Whoever landed that thing, you're kind of impressed they got it. They didn't crack the thing in half, um, especially with how long it is. But, um, yeah, you know that transport ship like that, they got they got some wealth on them. Yeah, we, should, we definitely should check it out. See what's there. Maybe there's something fun. Maybe there's not. And I would like to meet the pilot if he's still alive, because that's <laughs> all of the landing. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, and, oh, you do pick up, too. You get one more piece of information uh, there. I'm trying to get what's name, too. It's, it's, I gotta get used to this. Uh, Phoenix, you get the, uh, yeah, the reactor is definitely offline. Um, and any any pings your ship gives to it, it, all you get back is the automated SOS technology. You get nothing new. I wonder how long it's been down there. That's a much more advanced test. <laughs> I mean, I could try if you want, Phoenix, but... You are smarter than me, I think. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Akola, I, if I could try to sort of um, see how many times the SOS has been running, I guess, or how long the signal's been up. Um, you you could try, but like the issue with that is that one, these are on battery power SOS signals, and, and they're like meant to last for you know years. Um, mm -hmm. And with how faint it is too, it's coming through. It's kind of weird. Like that's what's throwing you off a little bit. Um, the other issue is that uh, it's not it's not sending anything but that. So even if you try to query, right. it, it won't give any more information. Um, is there a way to scan or just get a better you know see if we can see just any markings on the ship or even a name of a ship? To help us uh, place, you can give me it. a you want to dig to the visual data who, who has seen here is anyone here a good seer does anyone have good high yeah. scene i think um uh, libby's got searching and uh no, no one's no i don't think anyone's a good uh, no one's got <laughs> no no one's got i just, got, I just uh, got killing let me give anyone else a chance you guys can see the data come over the screens here um does Michael, Titania, or Olivia, do you guys want to look at like the visuals coming through? I mean, sure. Okay. Titania, you can go up to the screen, give it a look. Uh, give me a uh, perception test. So this will just straight up be uh, a plus two for you. Okay. I should probably get my dice out. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if the social light knows. knows I can see. <laughs> yeah. Delta Barbie's going to figure it out. Delta Barbie. <laughs> I got a, a 12 and a 5 on the drama Ooh, die. Okay, excellent. Excellent. So you actually succeed. Um, Yay. You manage to look at the image and you kind of, it takes a second and you actually run it through some of your like little social media filters to like, get a better image of it and everything. Um, you've had a little bit of time to work with like, um, you know, images here. Yeah. And you get a name. The name Wait. of the ship is the Rattel. R A T E L. The Rattel. Got it. Um, you guys are welcome to query. You guys can try to query your databases about that if you want to know more about the ship. Um, but yeah. uh, immediately it comes up. It's a freighter. Uh, it was due to come through here uh, a few weeks ago. Um, and uh, as far as what it's carrying, unknown. Uh, if it was even carrying anything. Uh, but it is a ship with a spotty past. So you're welcome to delve into that further, but uh, you can definitely tell this ship that's... that's Doing things on the up and up and the down and down, as it would be. One of these I'm illegal kinda, ships. Yeah, I'm kind of interested to see, like, if there's, um, if I can find out about how many people were on that ship so I can maybe estimate what um, kind of medical I'll need and how many. A, a crew, you're not going to be able to find a crew manifest by the time you guys get there, but what you can do is a ship that size is usually crewed by about, like, 10, about, like, about 10 people, maybe five to 10 people. Um, it doesn't require a lot of crew. It requires a lot of crew to unload, but not to like man. It's a pretty much a it's a it's a space trucker thing. Um, but it does. But these uh, PDCs and it being shot up is kind of uh, concerning that it's it's seen combat. It seems like that or a bunch of micrometeors. And uh, does it? Uh, does, what kind of weapons do we think that this has? I have. You can see that it has a PDC network on it, so it had like okay, uh, just PDCs. And use it for it, it has more than you would usually see on a ship this size. You might see like two, like maybe one or two, just for rock breaking. This thing has like a full network, so it, it was ready to, to fight or ready to defend itself. Um, you don't see. I'm not sure if there's any torpedo tubes on it or not. But that'll be something you'd have to go and take a look at more right, on, right. on the ground. 
But yeah, Captain's looking at it. He's like, oh, shit. All right, well, look. Look, crew, uh, we're we're obligated uh, under transport union regulations and our UN charters and everything here to go do this. Um, uh, Mr. Wu, could you take us in? Yes. Uh, does, Phoenix, does Phoenix care that the captain calls him Mr. Wu? Or do you want him to call you Phoenix? Uh, he just calls me whatever. I don't really care. <laughs> just I, I just want to say, Mr. Wu, take us in. That sounds really good. <laughs> I mean, Phoenix is kind of an really ominous fast? name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The question is, will we rise again? <laughs> right, right. You, you burned your ship. We, yeah, yeah. You cracked your burn, but will I rise again is the question. You're like, uh, and that is, that is a weird name for pilot that I think about. <laughs> uh, yeah. Full board. Well, he's like, um... Uh, you need to, he's like, well, first thing you need to do is you need to scan for a landing zone. <laughs> that is the first thing. Oh, and we just figure it out when we get closer. All right. Uh, you take it into a geosynchronous orbit. That's pretty easy to do. No, no roll checked. Um, you guys start scanning the surface. Uh, you can see that there are a, uh, the, the, the surface is pretty rocky. Like it's really jagged. Um, this is not something you normally want to land on. But uh, you would have to. There's. You can see a pretty easy spot to land on. You guys pick up a scanner, pick up a fairly smoother spot. Um, it doesn't maybe had an impact like a few, you know, maybe a few hundred years ago, a few thousand years ago. Like someone hit it, kind of clear the spot. Um, it's about two kilometers out from the uh, location of the Rattel, which means you guys would have to walk. You guys feel like walking? Well, I'll tell you what, I guess it would be nice to walk in a straight line for a change. (laughs) Um, So, yeah, that is that is you can also look for other landing spots if you want to also just take some more time to to check the planet surface if you want to there. uh, No, I'll just go for the first one I see. It looks. Yeah, that's the easiest when you see it. The the ship scans automatically uh, pops up. Other landing spots would be like difficult. You would risk damage to the ship, essentially. Okay. All right. And I don't want to fix that. I don't want to fix that, yeah. man. Maybe yeah. I should. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, Captain Gray comes on and says, all right, guys, look, we got a landing zone. Uh, ETA, we're dropping. We're going to drop down there in about the next hour. Uh, go ahead. I want everyone to crash couches in the next 30 minutes. Uh, make sure you have your gear strapped down. You got you got your drinks uh, locked up. Uh, all your gears locked up. Make sure nothing's going to get loose on us. Uh, we're, headed, we're heading down. Uh, and prepare for uh, microgravity, everybody, and uh, some... Our maneuvers. So he gives you guys some time. You guys can prep up some. Uh, what do you guys want to do in that thirty minutes? Besides just like lock down your gear. I'm going to put on some headphones and listen to heavy metal and right. pump myself up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't better um, than that, but I'll, I'll prep a triage kit. Uh, at least one, and um, just kind of also quick little inventory on the medical supplies we have uh, yeah. on this on this ship to make sure. Ship's fully stocked medically. Uh, you do have like uh, a med kit you can bring with you. It's like a back, it's, it's uh, if you're gonna go in low gravity, it's kind of like a suitcase you carry with you or kind of something you can kind of cover over your shoulder. Um, yeah, you have that no problem. That's all been ready. Uh, and everyone's got back suits. So that's not even an issue and the like. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. You have, you have I'm that. just gonna stretch out a bit, you know, and get ready for the Get ready for the walk and hauling of things. Limber, limber up, yeah. Limber up a little bit before I get I mean, in my suit. You know how how many of these jokers are you gonna have to carry on your back back to the ship there, uh, Michael? Exactly. Uh, <laughs> so like, we oh. also should mention. Uh, I, I forgot we should mention. Uh, Michael has kind of a weird physical appearance. Did we talk about that? Not yet. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do you want me to talk about it? Or you want me, or you want to talk about it? I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead. You want me to go? Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Michael's skin has like scales. Um, there's little overlapping like scales that they look like um, they look flesh color like Michael's flesh, um, but they are not flesh. They are actually metallically interwoven pieces of scaling. Um, you can tell that Michael has uh, basically dermal implanting uh, from their time in the military that is to make them like quasi bulletproof. So there's a reason why Michael's in charge of security. Yeah, um, I have an impressive magnet collection of people trying to s- stick magnets to me, you know, kind of <laughs> decorated inside my uh, locker. Very nice. Yeah, you have a, you have a whole a whole corner that's saying nothing but kick me, or there's actually a corner that space me. 
Um, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, you you go ahead and uh, uh, you get yeah you prep up your gear here, Michael. Make sure that the kit's all good. Um, you can check your rifles and everything to have access to that. Make sure everybody gets their rifles. Uh, you do know that uh, Koa and Olivia are both trained on these things as well. So, um, and I think Phoenix. I think Tatiana's the only one that doesn't have a weapon. Yeah, Phoenix has a weapon. Yeah. Yeah, Tatiana is. Taser. I'm unarmed <laughs> here. <laughs> no taser. No taser on the ship. No, just... that's, that's, gonna be, that, that's what we're trying to get different from Abrax's Press, but try to differentiate this game uh, is that uh, the people at Green Runner were like, hey, we want something different. And I was like, what do all Abrax Press games have? And I said, it's a taser. Taser. Um, yeah. So we're, we're, taser. Going, we're going, we're going, we're going strapped. Taserless. Today. Taserless yeah. game. Yeah. Um, but no, uh, so, okay. Uh, what about Tatiana? What do you want to do uh, while they, they prep up? You hear the medical kids getting prepped up. You hear the, the pilots getting ready to start going through and check all the thrusters. I think she is, like, kind of posted up, you know, updating her followers and, you know, okay. whatever, that kind of thing, taking pictures. But she's also keeping an eye out for any opportunity to get her hands on, like, a pistol or any sort, even, like, some sort of, like, blade, just anything self-defense-wise. Uh, I mean, she's kind of trying to look for an opening that wouldn't make people be like, "Why the fuck does she even? What is she doing?" Like, <laughs> I mean, you can you can get like um like a small like club type item or like you know basically some just a brandishly okay. thing if you want. Well, to. yeah, I'll I'll definitely get that. Okay. But she's de she's definitely keeping her eyes okay. open yeah. for uh, bigger, deadlier opportunities. Uh, you you know that uh you you know that. Uh, Michael keeps a pretty tight wrap on the on the security of the ship here. Uh, the, the weapons aren't yeah. freely loose there and everything too. Um, and everything. I, but, I do have persuasion, so I can try to All right, so you talk go, somebody. Uh, you, can into... go try, you can go try to talk to Michael if you want to. Hey, okay. Yes, All right, so you go talk to yeah. Michael. Yeah. Uh, Michael, you can see Michael's in the security locker going through stuff. The door is locked, but there's like a talkway through. You can talk to them while they're while they're going over the check of the gear. Okay. Um, so I, she, Titania kind of walks up after, you know, you like kind of checking her makeup in the mirror and making sure, you know, her hair is perfect or whatever. She kind of walks over and is like, Hey, um, I can see you're really busy right now, but, uh, do you have a moment of, uh, can I have a moment of your time? I, I will be very quick. Uh, I promise. All right. Um, I'll turn around and, and look at her. It's like, Sure, little darling. What can I help you with today? <laughs> uh, well, it, it, it's mostly my fault, but uh, I wasn't anticipating as many uh of the you know the crew of the ship recognizing me from my social media posts and I everyone's been so nice and so accommodating so far, but there has been a few creeps that have just giving me a little bit of a strange feeling and I'm looking for something I can use to, uh, you know, for, for self-defense. Uh, and I thought you might be the best person to talk to about that. Uh, well, um, uh, do you know how to use a pistol? Yes. <laughs> There's like an extremely mm -hmm. long right, pause. That is, a, that is a deception check. As you, as you try to convince us, yeah, not maybe, persuasion. Maybe, you got high communication. You got foreign. You got foreign communication. You can do this. Let's see how you come off. Got here. it. Yeah, just that. Roll the dice and add four to it. Ooh. Okay. I got two fives and a four, and then what? Oh, that's pretty good. Was? Eighteen. Yeah, 18, it's eighteen. All right. 18, okay. So uh, yeah, I mean, you know, this uh, Michael. They come off like they know how to use a gun, pistol at least. All righty. Well, awesome. uh, let, let me grab one for you. I'll grab one. Uh, okay. Just like so, you know, right? Is that don't point this at anybody? Uh, well, yes, then, I've, you know, I've like heard that that's saying before. I I won't point it at anything I do not intend to destroy. Uh, and if I could, one more favor, please. Uh, this conversation didn't happen. Fine by me. I'm not much of a talker anyway. Well, I appreciate you, Michael, and if there's ever anything I can do do for you, uh, you just let me know. Uh, and she kind of, like, slips it in the, the pistol, like, into her bag and kind of, you know, leaves and goes and posts up in the hallway to continue just kind of 
updating social media and taking videos and whatever else, you know, li- like live streaming and that kind of thing. Uh, as, as she kind of turns to do the thing, we're like, you should probably get yourself a belt and a holster for that. <laughs> 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 I do need to. Fi- I do need her to find one of those. <laughs> okay. um, so you kind of you kind of pocket it and everything too. Um, it seems like it, it. It feels like it has something in it. Maybe you can fire. You're not sure. Uh, but yeah, you do manage to get a uh, pistol to Tanya. So um, all right, cool. The um, uh, anyone else got anything before they want to do land? I think, I think uh, we got, I'm I think just going to uh, bring a like any tools. Engineering tools or anything we might need when we hit the ground. You got a repair kit, yeah. Breaks. Basic, yeah. basic diagnostic repair kit, so you can go into the thing and figure out what's wrong with it. Try to get it started back up uh, if it if it can start back up. So, all right, cool. Um, ship goes and maneuvers. Uh, everyone, get, everyone's gonna get in the crash couches here, I assume. Yep. Yeah, of course. We're gonna definitely. do the smart thing and get in crash couches. Okay. <laughs> as as is protocol. As yeah. Is protocol. Yes. <laughs> it's uh, it is. This is the expanse is a very easy game to have your characters commit suicide. <laughs> Like if you just tired of living, uh, you can yeah. you can end it pretty quick there. Uh, okay, uh, Phoenix, you're up, man. So you have a um, uh, you go to make a piloting test here to do the landing. This isn't a hard landing. You can you can do this one pretty easy here. Well, let's give it a shot. All right, so this is gonna How be a dexterity have... piloting. <laughs> How long have we had this pilot? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I got 18 and 6 on the drama die. Oh, no. All right. You managed to land with a flourish. Uh, you actually land quite quicker Ooh. than you thought you would. Uh, the descent's Ooh. a little aggressive, all of you. You guys feel, you know, you guys kind of feel your nuts go into your throat um, as you <laughs> drop down there kind of rapidly. Um, and, uh, but Phoenix does it smoothly. It, it is, uh, there, you know, things didn't disappear. They kind of they transition uh, throughout your body as you like descend and Phoenix gets you in like before you know it it's a smooth super smooth landing uh, by Phoenix Phoenix yeah you um, Captain says uh, excellent work Mr. Wu I know <laughs> all right. showboating belters man showboating belters <laughs> they never stop um, alright so you guys get up and you, you mark two kilometers from the from the location uh, the walk based on what the scans on the ship and the outside looks like you can see it, it's a pretty rocky terrain um, there's lots of jagged rocks, stuff kind of sticking out here and there. Um, it's not like this isn't just going to be a cakewalk. You're going to kind of watch where you step and everything. So um, uh, basically, the captain and the comms officer, comms officer uh, Captain Gray said, "Look, we're going to make. Sure, I'm going to stay on the, on the boat here, make sure everything's going well. Uh, our uh, comm officer Amara, she'll be uh, watching this in case any signals come out. We can get a hold of someone else to come out here and." Uh, Unfortunately, right now, the, and like you like look at the orbit, you guys can see like the planet, like where the moon. You guys are. It's a, I mean, it's like the size of Jupiter, so it's hard to miss in the sky. Um, you know, he's like, unfortunately, right now, uh, we got a few hours of being occluded from uh, Castilla and the gate, so no signals coming in or out for a little bit, guys. So, uh, but we're gonna keep on trying here and try to see if we can ping off a satellite somewhere, uh, get our get our brothers here or get our way out. So. Uh, but you guys go ahead and uh, do a rescue effort there. Try to get back who you can living and see if you can get the sh- their ship back online and uh, find out what happened. Affirmative. We'll get it done. <laughs> all right. So uh, you guys all suit up, get into your basically uh, just some back suits, nothing too special, nothing too fancy. Um, equip up um, Olivia and Michael. Both of you have ri- rifles strapped on your shoulder along with sidearms as well. Uh, you notice that um, you've seen uh, Phoenix. I think Phoenix has a pistol, right? Yeah, Phoenix has a pistol. And you see Koa's got a pistol. Koa having some mar- Martian trains, not a bad shot either. However, the, the other four of you notice, or the other three of you notice that Titania, uh, the Civi on board, has a pistol, not in a holster, but in their hand. <laughs> uh, who armed that? Uh, who armed the passenger? <laughs> This is not a uh, standard by any means. Absolutely not. You're going to hurt yourself that way. I mean, you were the MCRN. Listen, I just this need is... something for self-defense. I'm not going to hurt myself. But if anybody happens to have a spare holster, do let me know. Because I want to be holding this in my hands just as much as you want me to be holding this in my hands. <laughs> Tussard. So. Tussard's an extra holster. Give the gun to Tussard. No, uh, I, I'd prefer the holster coming to me, actually. But thank you for your input. 
I, sh I should mention, so one of the questions I have here too is who's in charge of this mission uh, now that you got in terms yeah. of that group? Um, I would, you know, based on kind of like classic military stuff, it would either be uh, Tassard, so Michael Tassard, the security yeah. officer, or uh, it even could be Olivia and Anne because they are the med tech, they are the rescue person. So uh, yeah. who do you want to put it's in charge true. of that? I mean, Michael armed me, so. <laughs> <laughs> you want them in charge? Yeah. I'm kind of feeling security officer for for this one, and um, heavens forbid anything happen to to Sard, I'll I'll step in. I mean, I could be I could be captain for you guys out there if you want. I can fix anything, but not people. So <laughs> that's what I'm here for. No worries, I got right. the people. Okay, so I'm here. I'm Olivia's in charge. Over. Or Michael's I'm in charge. I'm gonna reach over and kind of put my arm around Tatiana and just say, "Oh, but she'd be fine." Kind of. You know, oh, like God. Pat Rapper on the, on the Seriously, I promise I'm not a total airhead. All right. All right. I'm not a total airhead. If it's not attacking us, I'm not shooting at it. So Relax, my, please. My, my, my question to Michael is the, the weapon you provided to Titania, uh, did you uh, oh, did keep it? Did you keep uh, bullets in there or did you not put bullets in there? Nope. Okay. It's like it's like a tourism yeah. thing. We're we're letting her feel like she's a part of this. Yeah. Oh great! So I have no ammo. Okay, you awesome. Throw it. That's a throwable yeah. object. Yeah, yeah. Do I notice I, that? Uh, no, you're not familiar with the weapons. So there's no ammo in it, there, Michael. No. Okay, cool. Yeah, you don't notice that at all. Yeah. Oh, you, awesome. Yeah. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. <laughs> you have a kid toy without batteries. All right. Um. Okay. I may walk. Um, the airlock cycles. You guys, kind of see the the ramp down down the way. Uh, it opens up. You can see like the path the path goes up there. Um, the surface is basically volcanic glass. Um, you can see there's not like a lot of like uh, you don't see any outputs of like uh, steam or like materials coming out or like eruptions. It looks like it's pretty dormant, but it is sharp. Um, I want to be careful, guys. Don't pinch your poke your suits. You might end up dead. Well, yeah, put. maybe we should uh, kind of buddy up with each other, kind of stick close, so that way if somebody's going to slip, is that we can, you know, I mean, maybe you can we should bring each the other pa out. passenger can, back to the ship. <laughs> you can tether each other, Michael, if you want to. There is like, uh, you can do like tethers around the belt place here. Uh, I don't, no. I'd be a little bit worried about a tether. That feels I, like a domino situation waiting to happen. Yeah. I, in yeah. my opinion. I mean, I brought a knife, so. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer to be tethered to uh, Olivia. We both served, so I just, you know, more dependable in that sense. Is so if we're going to do that, uh, so, I don't really want to be tethered to anyone on this kind of environment. We might need to move quickly. Yep. And we can we can save the tethering for anyone that we bring back if they need to be. Um... Yeah, the passenger, perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, so you guys start making the march across the two kilometer walk here. It's a uh, microgravity kind of slow. So this is going to be the earther is going to be minus one. Uh, belters and Martians, though, you guys are normal. So uh, I need everyone here to make a dexterity free fall test. Uh, the belters, uh, you're OK. Uh, yeah, I think I don't know we're, we're doing that here. But yeah, everybody make a free fall test, a dexterity test. OK. Uh, so let's start with uh, All right, so I heard. Uh, My Michael got a 10? Yep. Can I include your minus one? Uh, yes. Okay, cool. Oh, so minus one, not minus yeah. two. It's minus one and then it's 11. Okay, cool. Yeah. Michael starts making a, it across. What'd you uh, get? Uh, I got a four. I got a 14, uh, and I also got doubles. I got two fours. One of them was on the drama die. Okay. Yeah, you managed to make it all across pretty easy there. Uh, Tanya, it's not much of a walk. It's pretty easy. You've done this kind of stuff on Titan all the time. Uh, what about Koa? 16. 16, not a problem. Just like old times back in the military. Uh, let's go yep. to Olivia. Uh, I got an 8 plus 2, so a total of 10. And okay. then uh, I got doubles, including uh, on the drama die. Okay, awesome. Yeah, you guys go ahead and uh, keep on uh, chucking across the surface here. No problem. What about Phoenix Wu? I got 14. Oh, yeah, not a problem. Um, you know, you guys all do pretty well in this, actually. Everyone made it. No problem. Uh, you, you can see that these these uh, volcanic rocks are very sharp, very dangerous, would easily puncture a suit. You know that trying to rush across this would be very dangerous. But yeah, no, no suit punctured. Very nice. 
All right. Um. Okay. So uh, you guys take a moment. You start approaching the the ship here. Give it in visual range. Lights. You have the lights on your suit, so you guys can see a little ways out. Um, you can see that the landing gear on the Rattel is deployed. They knew they were coming down. They didn't come down suddenly. They were. They had time to deploy their landing gear. Uh, but you can see that the struts, some of them are not, uh, the ship's not fully level. Some of the, some of the struts have like buckled. So some of the supports have like cracked here and there. Um, it's at a slight angle. Um, but yeah, you can see that, you can see the damage is taken. It's quite a bit. Uh, you can see tons of PDC holes, a lot to patch up. Uh, the drive cone has like a massive chunk of it missing. Uh, so this thing would kind of go in circles if you, if you fired up the engine. Um, and you're pretty sure, uh, Koa, that it's a torpedo explosion that did this damage. Um, you're honestly like, and then Phoenix, once again, man, I mean, it's a miracle this thing was able to land at all. Um, yeah, I don't know how they did that. So that's very impressive. I mean, um, Sassar, do you, do you see in this damage? It looked like it was shot down. Yeah, I mean, that, I can't even think, I don't think we saw anything that was, uh, up in the air with us. That could have done something like this. Uh, looking yeah. back at the records, the Castalia uh, system's clear. The only other, I mean, there's not a lot of ships coming in here or out. Um, you guys were the only real cargo ship headed out that way. Maybe pirates. Yeah, that's but, true. They'd come like in and out. They could that's come in. A good idea. To let Captain know that. Uh, just keep an eye out while they're while we're down here off this floor. Mm-hmm. All right. Why don't you send a message up to Cap then, so just so they know to keep an eye out. I'll send a very long-winded message to the captain right. about keeping an eye out. So the, your message goes out to the captain, and you get a message back, and it comes back kind of fragmented. Uh, you can tell that there's a lot of issues with like there's some sort of like interference with uh, the surface when you're this close to the surface. Might be the reason why their their signal is still weak. So, and there's no way to boost or cl- uh, like clear or amplify our signal is that something i could work on while we're um it, you you would if you want to take a while to work on it here while everyone else is in vacuum uh on the alien moon you're welcome to or this, this yeah i mean you're welcome to take no, your time I, on it yeah um i'm gonna I'm, I'm check with kind of want to check with them i i mean how important we need to keep get be able to get in communication in case something goes wrong I'm going to need to work on this a little bit longer, but I might have to be out here doing that. Seems safe enough. Um, Michael, as you approach the ship, uh, to song, you, you see that like the airlock is sealed on the ship. Um, this is, uh, and it's going to need to be bypassed. Uh, this is definitely a Koa jaw. So. Okay. I'll do <laughs> I'll have to work on that later. <laughs> Um, I should try our best not to get into uh, trouble. Yep, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Let me crack this thing open. So, uh, Co, you got the engineering tools. You got, now, you can open the airlock one of two ways. You can try to o- go through the, the software and try to bypass the, the thing, or you can uh, try to just, like, I mean, use engineering techniques to not rip it open, but, like, take off the hinges type thing or cut it open or something. Yeah, let's cut it open. All right. All right. <laughs> you bust out your blowtorch. You, you start messing with it here a little bit here. Um, yeah. What about everyone else? Oh, you see, uh, Co starts going off on the thing. Uh, let's go to um, Olivia. Ten seconds. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? You seeing you seeing Co's up there, like on uh, at the airlock, like you know. Shh. Uh, can I do like a, a searching check sure. to uh, just kind of do a preliminary like check around for um, for threats and uh, for any like immediate uh, people. Okay. Yeah, give me a search test. Watch my back. <laughs> 13 plus two plus four? 19? So this is just the one number. Just the, yeah. If I, if I have it listed as a number, you're good. So it'll be a plus four, yeah. Um, so you got 16 or something like that, I think? So yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Um, you look around a little bit, the ship here, and... You can see the holes are in there. Um, you're kind of, the ship definitely doesn't have an atmosphere. Even though the airlock's sealed, there's definitely no air inside the ship. Um, but it, but the airlock was sealed. So, um, but yeah, you can see there's no part of the ship that didn't get uh, punctured. It's not looking good for survivors in that case. 
most likely uh yeah no one there's nobody in there so uh, five more seconds okay. uh, Titania well, what do you want to do um I mean I, I definitely feel like she's got like her the useless pistol in one hand not pointing it like at anyone but like ready to go you know for action and then with her other hand is just like holding her uh uh hand terminal up like just like recording <laughs> you couldn't have brought like a purse <laughs> <laughs> i did have a purse like earlier that's what i put the the uh pistol into i just assumed that i would have like a backpack or something for this kind of expedition <laughs> Can you not point that at my back while I'm doing this? <laughs> or around me? I'm not me? pointing it at anything but the ground. Cut me some slack. All right. uh, <laughs> Phoenix, what about you? Uh, Phoenix is just staring at the damage, kind of trying to assess in his own mind if he thinks anybody could have survived what happened to the ship. All right. uh, give me your choice of seeing or searching. Uh, maybe. They're both the same, I think, so plus one. Yeah. Let's see what you get here. Nine. Nine. Okay. Um, you're kinda you're kinda like looking around here and uh watching Koa work. And you you you've seen ships like this before. Hell, you raided a few when you were the free navy. And um there's like some it looks like some additional work was done on the airlock. Like there's some additional pieces that seem superfluous to the airlock. Uh they seem kind of out of place. I I will hold on to that thought or that to point out to Koa when he's done. All right. Doing what not, doing. Not, not before I'm done? Just kidding. <laughs> uh, I mean, a millisecond before you're done, I'm like, hey, you yeah. want to come? <laughs> uh, Michael Tassan, what, what about you? What do you want to uh, What do you want to do here? Uh, you can see that um, Olivia kind of looks the, around the edge of the ship. Koa's kind of, Koa's going to town on the airlock. Uh, Phoenix kind of overseeing Koa. Uh, Titania is just kind of... Uh, being useless. Being... Yeah, enjoying the time here. All it's right. Like um, who's watching your live stream? It's just no one's watching. There is no live stream with the signal right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> she's just recording. recording yeah, yeah, for the the video later. Yeah, we'll get it in post. <laughs> All right, let, let, little girl, like, come over here. She's blogging. All right, I want you to keep an eye on this stuff, and I'm gonna point to where everybody is looking at mm -hmm. the different things. It's like. Because in case we need a record of this, this would be a really great task for you to do. Titani is just like pivots and like zooms in on that with her camera. Um, Koa, you, you, you come to, you, you're getting ready to like kind of cut through the rest of this thing and Phoenix uh, has something to say to you. Phoenix, what do you want to say to Koa? There's some weird stuff over here. I don't know if you want to look it out. Look at it. I mean, it's kind of more probably up your alley than mine. I'm more of like the, the flying part than the rest. So I'll I, point it. I like immediately stop because that's right. just like I just was like, what? And I want to <laughs> take a look at this thing. So right. if it's modded to be like a trap or, mo you know, I just kind of want to see what. Yeah, what they did to it. You come around. The, you kind of you kind of go where uh, fans point out and you can see that there's like a series of kind of like wires, <laughs> like really thin, like metal wires uh, kind of. Uh, like basically kind of soldered to the edges of the door. Um, they look really out of place. Like they have no function. Um, would I be, I mean, through engineering, just building stuff. Can I tell if this is some, is it something that's made, is it like a trap for the door or is it just something totally? It, it seems like whatever it is will do something when the door opens. Like right now it's very taunt and it'll untaunt when the door uh, okay. opens. Okay. I'm glad you t I'm glad you said something before I finished. Uh, to <laughs> to Sard, I call over uh, security okay. to see okay. this and kind of point this out. All right. All right. Uh, so you come over and look at it. it uh, you you've seen this a few times in your life. It's a, it's a trip wire. Yeah. Um. That was close. <laughs> yeah. Um. Why would there be a trip wire on the door? Who would have done that? I mean. They don't want us. As do they not? Somebody want? That's just really strange. I mean, there's no there's air problem, inside. Yeah, there's no air inside. It's, well, that we know of. Um, mm -hmm. You think we could um, disable it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try to disable this thing. If we can. 
Sure. Let me see how t- touchy it is. Sure. Oh, this is, this is Everybody a, stand back a little bit. <laughs> this, this army in this is a your choice of either uh, intelligence demolitions or intelligence security. Uh, you, two starred, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think our smartest characters are Titania, Koa, Olivia. That's definitely not Tassar. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, I mean, I, I could give it a go, but uh, I mean, yeah. Hey, let Belt of Barbie try. <laughs> this is way too da- this is way too dangerous for a, a passenger, and not to protocol. If, I mean, something could, could go completely wrong. You know what kind of trouble we can get in for that? Oh no, 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 no! Are you Do you think that? I'm on this ship just to sit around and be entirely useless? Actually, don't answer that. But I, you know, I any mean, way I, I can help, I, c- I would be happy to. Also, I take Belter Barbie as a compliment, so thank you. You're it's all right. You just hold over here. You just hold over here. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. Let me just uh, let me just let's just do this uh, the right way, and then uh, you know whatever you could go edit it later and pretend you did it. But um, for now, <laughs> it's not gonna... about pretending. Just let me know when you decide you need an extra hand and are willing to accept one. Um, Appreciate it. So, Koa, you can actually use um, the engineering skill on this, but it okay. increases the target number by two. So basically it's what's called tangential focus. Okay. Um, okay. So if you want to try that, you can try roll your engineering, but it's a little bit harder than it would be if you had engineering or demolitions or security, and you can't get dump points on this. Okay, yeah, no, I'll just go for it. Okay, go for it. Plus five, plus five, okay. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say, does the system allow for any kind of, like, helping type actions or anything? Uh, not in this case, because it's so delicate. It's very... I think he's <laughs> going over a little wire, like, I'm all... You could... Okay, you ready? You're I'm, ready not gonna, I'm, not bring, I'm not gonna break you down your neck on this one, Kala. Uh, okay, yeah, um, all right, stand back, uh, 13. 13, okay. I'm back under 50 I... yards. Koa, you go through and like you kind of like supplement the wire. You're going through it and like it's really tingy and you're you're, you're kind of falling around and you you think you can secure it to another position and you you take a moment and you're like oh and you barely pull it off and you got exactly what you need to do. <laughs> so you manage you manage to like uh, disarm the trip wire and uh, it looks like the airlock's no longer rigged. Hmm. Takes a deep breath. <sighs> okay. It's clear. So who's going to open the door? I am kind of curious about what would have happened if um, we had tripped it off just to set the trap and off and make sure nothing else happens. Uh, yeah, yeah, would we? Yeah. For more. If there's this trap, how many more traps are going to be set up inside? Well, that's well, the thing. Got- is that, was this set up to trap the people? Or like, is this set up by the people inside to get anyone outside as like a defense thing? Or is oh, this yeah. set up by, yeah. or is this kind of a set as a trap for someone who's watching, maybe not too it's far pretty, away from here? It's pretty creative, yeah. And it's it was rigged from the outside for sure. Mm-hmm. I mean, like yeah. to open, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, all right. Well, then uh, I, I, I guess we the, should... the wire did kind of go inside. So whatever is, whatever would would happen is on the inside of the airlock. So you don't know you don't know what would gotcha. happen from the outside. You just know there's a okay. wire. Mm-hmm. All right, go on, Michael. Uh, well, I guess uh, I guess we can go ahead and open it. Um, let's see. Um, can we announce ourselves before going in, in case there is people in there? Um, or do you want to be more? I mean, there is no, there is no oxygen yeah. in this thing. And there's also the you guys, you guys keep on, you guys do get the SO signal on your on your your hand terminals are no problem. Um, but like every time you try to ping the thing, nothing comes back. Nothing comes back. Yeah. Yeah, we, I, I need to locate the uh, the beacon or whatever's sending us out. Right. All right. Um, is it possible for me to try to open it up and then be kind of stealthy about moving in? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, go ahead and give me a self test, or Michael. All right. I'll bring so up that... the, uh, the rear. Oh, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Three, four, six, four. seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. No, that's not bad. I mean, you open the door up. The door opens up. You're, you kind of, you can kind of hear the, you can hear the mechanics of it kind of moving or feel through your, your boots here, and it opens up. And um, the first thing you spot when you open it, Michael, is you can see that there was like um, 
it looks like a uh, breaching charge was kind of mounted to the inside of the door, so like it would have blown out to anyone cracking the door okay. open without that tripwire being disarmed. Alright. Um, I'm gonna make note of that and let everybody know. And you guys can see, like you, you, Michael points out, you can see where this, like these blast things were gonna come down if you were to uh, open the door. It would have been pretty devastating, to be honest. Well, why would they do that? Whatever is outside, they definitely didn't want inside. They didn't well, want to be rescued. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe somebody came and scooped them up, and they just don't want anybody to come inside and see what's here. Could be something valuable inside here. They're trying to protect. Sure. Or a big old or a big old trap. I don't know. Um, right. As you walk on the ship, you can feel the, the slight slant of it. It, it is kind of awkward. Uh, the gravity is at point one two g, so it's really minimal. Um, and uh, you can see that like there's just the emergency lighting off. So it's kind of that like dull red lighting throughout the ship. Mm -hmm. um, you can see well enough inside the room, but seeing into a next room is very difficult. Um, unless you guys want to use your flashlights and everything. You guys have like head mounted lamps, no problem here. Um, and uh, you can see that like even in the even in the airlock, there's some stuff kind of floating around here. There's like a few uh, little pieces of debris, like a loose flare, crap like that. Looks like a burnt flare kind of floating around. Is there any right. uh, blood or a sign of fighting on the inside of the ship? Um, that we can see you can see uh, if you if you want to move past the airlock, uh, you can get into the interior of the ship and then start looking for like the damage. The airlock's actually intact, shockingly enough. Uh, but look, you're pretty sure the airlock goes into the cargo bay, based on the layout of the ship. Okay. So who, wants, right. who uh, wants to breach the door from the airlock into the cargo bay? Oh, open it up, or yeah. just yeah. We'll open it up, uh, yeah. Uh, Cole, uh, yeah, Cole will just start me. blood. Um, once you're inside the airlock, it, it opens up. No it's not locked. It's, it's oh, you okay. can push the button, and you're, you have access to all the emergency control. No problem. Okay, yeah, I'll go yeah. ahead. You open up. It open cracks it open. It doesn't even go through a cycle because there is no atmosphere inside of it. Um, as, as you do, Koa, uh, you see a figure moving in front of you, like maybe like like three meters from you in the red light. I got movement. I got movement. Tussard, uh, Olivia, I, we got something up here. Tussard, I think. Oh, sorry. Titan. I think. Uh, yeah. Uh, Titan, uh, Titania. Uh, I can't say her name right. Sorry. God, just to, like turns on like the flash on her okay. camera like permanently to use as yeah to like use as a, a yeah. source of illumination. And the headlamp and the them. lamp on your okay. So you gotta line yeah. up here. Um, as you do, uh, to start, you pull your weapon up and you 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 train it on the figure. You can see it's just like an empty spacesuit floating around, kind of like banging around stuff. All right. So right, there's, and, and like, right. it's, kind of, it's kind of it's kind of been falling for a while, and like it seems like it's getting kind of, like you guys opening the door up and the air from the airlock coming through it kind of pushed around or just kind of moved around a little bit here. All right, looks like there's a uh, not a person in this here suit. Uh, <laughs> is it close yeah. enough to like reach and move out of the way? Yeah, you can just like way. take it and like stomp it down with your foot or something like that, or enable yeah. mag boots so it doesn't move around or anything. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna fall back too after I do that, you know. Okay. <laughs> Plus, just to the doctor, or the vet um, tech. This room, this room is actually kind of hard to see and pass that though. It's almost kind of cloudy, which is weird because there's no air in here. So there shouldn't be dust flying around or there anything. Shouldn't, yeah, there shouldn't be. Uh, I mean, there's low gravity, but there shouldn't be like, like it shouldn't be dusty or anything like that too, especially yeah. in this atmosphere. Um, everybody here can give me a seeing test, and I'll give you some more. Uh, or you do a searching oh. test also. Searching or seeing, your your choice. Perception. I got neither, so... I also want to make sure I mention this because uh, this is just to impress the folks at Green Ronin. Um, you also can use touching to hear through the ship. Oh, that's so cool. So you, you can put your hand up on the wall and, like, hear through the ship. Yeah. It's, it's, called, it's called space, Marcy. You gotta be smart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, touching is actually super helpful. Tasty can be very helpful in engineering, too, we found out, but... That's more of a Michael's character's thing, so... Yeah. Is this um, oil clean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You said this is uh, yes. this is perception. perception if you don't have seeing. Seeing. Okay. Yeah. Right. I, got, uh, I got a fourteen. Fourteen. Right, I, I got a sixteen with two fives. Again, neither okay. of those are drama die okay. though. All right. Good. Uh, what'd you get, Mark? What'd you get? Uh, uh, okay. So Michael's kind of watched around, not really catching anything. Uh, what yeah. about Phoenix? I got six. Six. Yeah. You're. This is not. You don't care. Um, <laughs> and Olivia, what'd you get with a searching test? Uh, I got an 11 and then dub uh, doubles, including on the dro uh, drama die. 
Okay, okay. Um, Koa and Titania, you, you two are the ones that really catch it. Uh, Titania, you catch pretty quick um, that what's floating in the air, what's making it so cloudy, is just a bunch of seeds and grain. It's just like, yeah. a, it's just like boxes of seeds and grain got cracked open in here. Um, okay. And they're just like, they're floating around the air and like they're not settling. It's like being in a snow globe kind of thing. Okay, so I, I guess Titania would kind of say that, like, all right, guys, calm down. I don't think it's, you know, any type of creature. It looks like there's just grain floating everywhere. Yeah, it looks like a uh, typical farming um, cargo. Yeah, yeah, and, and uh, yeah. Uh, Co, you're, you're in this, and, like, it, the cargo base seems pretty straightforward. You can see some of the crates are clo- sealed up. Some of them are, are busted. Um, this stuff's de- the, these seeds are definitely would go quite well with your guys the substrate you guys are ch- are moving so there's there's some money in here by all means yeah um, um but is there so a manifest you, of the oh sorry go ahead uh yeah you can you can go you can start messing with the computer if you want to yeah uh, you go over and start looking at like the the cargo bay computer it's on battery power um it's not it it seems like it's, it's just mentioning damage like it's saying you know systems failure but you kind of go through that real quick uh, make a technology test real quick uh, intelligence technology. Were yeah. the seeds kind of scheduled to arrive before we were? Because this uh, this freighter, it's it was missing for a couple of weeks. Yeah, it's been missing for like like about a, it's supposed to be about a week ago or so. Yeah, um, yeah, you you think it was going there for sure? I mean, it, it seems like it would have been. It would have gone with the substrate. Kind of interesting uh, to send the seeds before the substrate. Well, it's yeah. more. It, it, right now, with the way that how congested the car, the shipping is right now, you beggars can't be choosers what order they get stuff in. Uh, you the know, question like, is, why would somebody shoot a torpedo at a ship carrying grain? Cargo, yes, yeah. Hiding something then in why the grain. would there be a booby trap to keep us yeah. out? Which I is think gr- uh, I, d- I got a more six. than grain, I suspect. I think so. Yeah. I got a 16 and, and a 6 on the drama okay. guy. All right, very good Next. there, uh, Koa. So, Koa, you go, you turn to get this. The manifest, some of the things, it feels fishy. Uh, you've seen manifests that have had fake information in them or, or seem undervalued or stuff like that too. There's just something fishy off. There's something more to this this cargo ship than than meets the eye. Yeah, I think all your hunches are right. There's definitely some falsification on on this cargo list. This uh, this uh, freighter was carrying something probably illegal. That's why I got shot down. So let's yeah, see if we can locate that. You do yeah. also see that, uh, Co, that, that also they also some of the crates also have water purification systems too. So like they're ready, they're looking to set agriculture on the planet. Mm-hmm. They just need dirt. But we, <laughs> but we definitely could use. We could probably salvage the rest of this for for what we're doing. We can tell. Yeah, Captain Woods will be happy about that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, but you do know that uh, bringing this back from a damaged ship, Coa, would be worth a, quite a bit of money to the Castilia. So they they would. Because if they get your substrate without this stuff, they're not uh, going to be able to it. So you probably haul a bit of it back with you guys if you want to. There's a possibility. Yeah. Okay. Legitimate yeah, salvage, so ladies and gentlemen. Legitimate salvage. Yeah. Uh, so this is good. yeah, good project. Okay. Um, we're gonna make a for- we're gonna make a fortune. Wait, you do you do catch Koa that the the this computer system is just telling you about the cargo bay. It's not. It seems like it's disconnected from the rest of the systems. So you'd have to get to like a more central computer uh, connected to the data core to get the uh, full information. Uh, Tussard, we we got to move further in the ship. I got to get to the main computer. This is only giving me a partial of the ship's information. Alrighty. Um, can we get a ship's layout on that thing? Um, I mean, you can uh, tell the ship layout from the outside of the ship. There, uh, Michael, you you've taken ships like this in combat before. Um, you know, up above will be the crew quarters and the medical bay, along with ops and the communications computer core will all be up uh, up top if you head head that way. Down to right. the engineering. Right, right. Um, or what cost is down at this point? Right. Um, well, I guess we should we. Well, I guess we should just head towards Ops and be in real careful where we go. Uh, probably check out the uh, Med Bay. See yep. if there's any supplies that we could use in there. Or people. Or people. Uh, I'll, oh yeah. I'll take your survivors along the way. Uh, I'm not feeling too hopeful about it, but. You never know. People are resilient. At least bodies. We got to bring them back if we can find any. Yeah. This is going to make such a good blog. <laughs> 100%. 100%. Um, 
Well, okay. maybe a good way to, you know, help identify some folks just in case, you yeah, know, somebody's might. taking some damage from the torpedo and whatnot. Mm. All right. Okay. Well, we're going to take a quick break. So we will be right back. The cargo bay, uh, grains for whatever, it's kind of hard to see through it one side or the other, uh, but you make your way towards the uh, the hatch leading up towards the um, uh, crew quarters, med bay, comms, it's gotta be all that stuff has to be up there. Uh, you can tell that from the outside of the ship, no problem. It, these ships are all pretty standard layout as is. Um, so my question is, how do you guys want to approach this? Or who wants to I approach think, it? I think we need to be very careful because if there's a booby trap outside, yeah, there could be a booby trap in here, and, and I, I like to keep all my digits today. Seconded. All right. It can only work if it's safe. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, um, I guess uh, between Koa and Olivia, I mean, you guys can look at a a smart people's way of looking at these things. <laughs> Maybe detect something, and I'll just be over your head, no. ready. Right. Yeah, what do you, yeah, Doc, take a look. Let's so, uh So who so the hatch up ahead, who's gonna head that way for the uh go first? I'll go ahead and go first. All right. Olivia, you, you approach it and Follow uh, close it, behind. It, it, it takes you and Co are both approaching it. It takes a second, uh get your light clear of all the the green and crap. Um largely it's been pretty drab the colors in here, but you notice as you approach it, um there is like a bright red kind of like uh, smear along the edge of the the hatch. Not a good sign. And because of your medical training, you identify it quickly as like frozen blood. Oh, good. Love that. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna draw out my pistol um, and have <laughs> that kind of uh, be at the ready. <laughs> then yeah, I'm- same with my useless pistol, Anya. Yeah, Point it at the uh, ground, yeah. please, until so, we... I will! Go to Tanya and, and uh, uh, Olivia, you all, you kind of come to the door. The, door. the door's already open. It's already, like, cracked open and everything, too. Um, yeah, and you can see that the smearing's a little worse inside inside this. This is where the crew quarters are, so you can see there's, like, hallways. You can see the doors are... Some of the doors are open, some of them are closed. Um, the whole area is a mess, though. You can see stuff's kind of poured out of some of the rooms, stuff's come loose. Um, some of it might have been knocked loose on landing. Some of it might have been just... just uh, whatever, but um, okay. it's uh, it's clear that there's like as you can see, there's no one. You don't see anyone in any of the rooms that are open. You don't see any signs of anything right. to that effect. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks like the coast is clear as far as I can tell, but I am no expert. Uh, be my look- guess, but uh, I'm not moving till Tussar gets here. <laughs> I think that's a random? good idea. Does it does it look like ransacked or does it just look like space tossed? Like, uh, it, it, I mean, it's that, that's, a fine line, line, that's a fine line like to draw. That. Um, yeah. <laughs> space tossed. Uh, yeah. you, you do see some things that are valuable, um, Olivia. So, like, I mean, they didn't steal, like, what would they have stolen? Um, you Can know? I, I just, like, something I'm going to look around for is um, kind of identifying information. Like, if anyone had their name plates up on stuff or, like, uh, okay. has not be anywhere. Um, you find some name plates on the doors. And you can tell... Um, some of them are intact, some of them be like blasted apart. Uh, but you do find one of them is a name for uh, one named uh, John Joy. And there is another one labeled uh, Azu Lin. So and are... You said like blasted apart some of the nameplates? Like, like... Like, uh, been... well, bullets pass through the ship and they might have hit the nameplates. And things okay, and, so and I... things also hit the walls and, I mean, gotcha. uh, stuff got broken apart. But you do, you do, you can see the, the, the Azu Lin one. That one actually, uh, it looks like it, the way it's labeled and the way it's kind of in, it, like, it's more permanent. It's not like a temporary name tag. And you're pretty sure, like, it looks like the captain's quarters. And it, I also, it is not fancy captain's quarters. <laughs> uh, it's pretty, it's pretty basic. Well, y'all, uh, there's definitely quite a bit of blood here, but no bodies. I'm kind of uncomfortable with that. 
Maybe um, we'll maybe I could do do something with the lights and stabilize the the, the emergency lights going on. We can see a little bit clearly. Is I'm that wondering... something? Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I don't know. I'm just kind of wondering out loud, like if these people maybe got taken to some kind of like other ship as hostages, maybe. Right. Or um. Oh, why take the people and not the grain, the cargo? Maybe there's something security protected that we haven't found yet that needs uh, so at least one of these people alive. Um, this Azu Lin person seems to me, to me to be the captain of this vessel. Is or was. Kind of I mean, there's, there's got to be a, like a transpot or a captain's log or something. Maybe we can access that as well. But see, maybe like they left some type of last message before going down. Yeah, I think that's uh, yeah. Can we check out the black box? Yeah. Uh, can we check out one of these crew quarters that's closed? Yeah, sure. To see if something looks different from the ones that are blasted open. Yeah, sure. Uh, Tassani, you go up to one of them. Uh, it opens up easily. There's no security on it. Uh, it's all on battery power. It opens up, and it's just a mess of a room. No bodies inside of it. Actually, no blood in here or anything like that. Too. You can see there's a few bullet holes in the walls. Uh, where some where some shots pass through, but like stuff's just tossed, blankets around. Um, some clothing, basic clothing. Right. So maybe it's like when they lost Atmo, then possibly this stuff, or when they were landing, it could have just, who knows? It could have been unsettled by the torpedo blast. Yeah. If I could get to that captain's box log, we should, uh, that, that all should tell us hopefully more right. too, I think. <laughs> all um, right. Well, should we just like leave all this and then hit the, the med bay? And see, you know, maybe to, somebody yeah. is in there, or there's stuff that we to, can to use. Tanya, as they're as they're like going through all the crew quarters and everything, you notice there's actually, uh, and the mention of blood comes up. You can see there's actually some like blood trail going towards the med bay. Ooh, okay. Uh, I definitely interrupt the kind of back and forth to point that out and what? be like, I don't know if we want to follow that or not but there there it is <laughs> yeah i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna push i don't want to follow that <laughs> okay. i don't want to follow that. behind me and i'll i'll start like kind of fast walking okay. towards that right. well, uh, hold, hold up the med, the med bay actually is sealed um you can see uh, it the, yeah. oh i'll catch up oh okay ah you you want to go towards the blood doc uh i just i'll just <laughs> never understand it but um okay me uh, right. it could be two seconds Oh uh, yeah, the doors the doors closed up there, uh, Olivia, and you have to saw behind you with a weapon ready. All right, Koa, please unlock right. this for us. You don't. You, you, right. Koa doesn't unlock it. It's it'll unlock. It's not locked. Oh. Yet. It's cold. It's just closed. Fantastic. Right. I'll go ahead and um, <laughs> pistol ready, and also like flashlight up up as uh, brightest it can be, trying to just spot as much as I can in the seconds that I open the door. Um. The door opens up, and uh, immediately you see uh, two figures inside the room, both of which are in prone positions, uh, strapped to medical crash couches. I'm gonna uh. assume they're dead. Might it be sick? There is a fair amount of blood in the room. All right, um, I'll go. I'll go in first, and um, anyone who doesn't need to enter this room, I wouldn't recommend it. When you guys are in sealed, can... you guys are in sealed suits, so you don't have to worry about. Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. see if yeah, I can but... just like power up the lights or something. You know, in that so you room. You can flash or... your lights in there. Um, yeah, okay. you see, you clearly see uh, and Michael and then um, Olivia. There's like two bodies strapped into crash couches, uh, both of which are lifeless. Um, one of them is more bloody than the other. Like you can see, blood is coming out of them. The other one just seems like just still. Um, and uh, you can see there's some small glows on the computers next to them. You can see that, they're, that the auto docks were on, um, are on battery power right now. Uh, they're kind of flashing, saying they're running low on power. Um, but they're also saying that the people are deceased. I'm just going to double check to make sure. Okay. Uh, which one do you want to go to? The one that's really bloody or the one that's not so bloody? Um, I'll go to the one that is really bloody first. Okay. You go over the one that's really bloody, uh, and you can see that the ID is uh, someone named um, name here Monique Kipsang. Monique Kipsang, and uh, Monique, uh, you can see has pretty dramatic uh, cuts open on their chest and their arms, 
Um, and you you see the med computer next to him. You can pull the log if you want to and try to like, uh, or try to dig through the log to see if you can get in there and what's going on. Okay, make a, make a technology test there, Olivia. This will be um, intelligence. Sounds good. See the big brain on Olivia. <laughs> and she chose the bloody suit one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I might as well uh, make yep. the confirmation first. Yeah, uh, that's a total of an eleven. Eleven. Okay, that's good enough. Well, first off, the other reason you know they're dead is that there's no atmosphere in here. They're not wearing suits, so they're uh, they're gone. Uh, but you find out that Kip Sang was act- uh, suffered substantial um, injuries during. Uh, they said there were substantial injuries during the crash landing, basically while trying to repair the ship. Uh, it looks like they were actively trying to, like, they're the engineer, and they were trying to actively repair the ship um, in uh, engineering while it was landing. And they, they just, they suffered substantial injuries. All right, I'll move to the other one. Um, the other one, uh, you go over and you find the uh, the name is John Joyo. Uh, this would be the one you saw the, uh, the name on. Uh, this one says that... Um, their their time of death is much earlier than the other person's, and it says that they suffered a severe they suffered a stroke during hygiene maneuvers. I don't know why someone put them on this in the med bay. I mean, well, they they suffered a stroke. They didn't die, but this complication of the stroke um, kind of a common thing. But um, Phoenix, that kind of raises your question about what why were they doing hygiene maneuvers? Like we're talking like two, three, four, five Gs. Get away from something. Yeah, I'll, I'll, really like these scenes. I'll just yeah. summarize. I'll summarize the the deaths real quick, and uh, it's like we don't have to inventory what's in here for now. I think we better figure out uh, anything else that's in the in the logs. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Do they have any weapons on them? Uh, no. Huh. You don't see them. They, they've been stripped down already too. They were they were kind of skitties. Gonna say anyone got a holster? No. Yeah, is there a holster it's the second in that time mess? we've asked that. We're just, yeah, we're just looking for a holster here in this whole show. <laughs> it's like, but, you can keep your weapons, but uh, we want the holster. Yeah, and the room is a mess. Um, and you can see, like, honestly, try salvage supplies here would be very difficult because they're just. I mean, just yeah, it's not, it's not a good sign, too, if the engineer's not strapped in working on the ship. It must have been going down. I, I don't know what he was. He, they must have thought there was a slight. I don't know, but yeah. So I don't know much about medical stuff, and I ain't that all smart, but how did they get here if they're dead? Someone brought them in here for sure. Well, yeah, you... The question is why. Yeah, Olivia, you catch up that the the one that had the stroke was brought in here before they landed um, on their way to land. The other one was brought here after they landed. It's possible. It's... This indicates to me that somebody survived and enough to strap their their crew member in the hopes that um, in the optimistic perspective I would say um, I don't know kind of if it's, we can't say whether or not the person who strapped them in is still alive though the, the other thing you pull from this Olivia too is that they this room had atmosphere in it but it was uh, decompressed uh, after they were these people pronounced dead so basically, they try to save them, and then they're like, ah, screw, just blow the atmosphere on it. So, um, John, how many, um, how many people are usually on a ship this size? Uh, usually a ship this size somewhere between six to ten. Six okay. Six to ten. All right. All right. So, that, so we got... Two down. <laughs> two down. And we know that they're <laughs> Captain Azu, Azu Lin. Yeah. Gotta be somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Oh. All right. Well, I guess... Uh... Go to Everybody, the deck. do we want to check out the rest of the crew quarters, make sure there's nobody there, or do we want to just move to ops and get, you know, see if we can't I, get I, some power up? In here? I want to see the crew quarters, but uh, that might just be the content creator in me. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you, you guys can go through the crew quarters really quickly. Um, all the rooms mark that they have no atmosphere in them, even the ones that are sealed. Um, so there's no air anywhere on the ship, you can tell, yeah. at least so far you've seen. Um, you, you can knock on the doors, you can open them up, but you take a while and there's all... There's crap everywhere. Um, I will say this, uh, Titania, you, you actually are going, you open up one of the doors and as you do, uh, floating right in front of you is a small piece of paper, like about yay big. Okay. Like, which is really, um, it's kind of off putting. Can I snatch it and read yeah, it you, you and see it. what's on it? Okay. 
Uh, you grab it and you take a look at it, and it is. Uh, it looks like a note. Uh, it has a little bit of blood around the edges, not too much though, just a little bit. And it says, uh, "I'm so sorry, my dearest Maria. I don't think we're gonna make it back home. Uh, you know, I really hope you get this." Um, and you can see the bomb. It's like signed. It's kind of hard to read the signature because there's like blood on it, but there's like a heart uh, going on it, but some sort of Aww. farewell note. I mean, I, I would definitely pass that on to the rest of the group. Like, I, it, this is super weird. Like, did he know something was going to happen, or is it just a coincidence that he happened to be writing that? Like, I don't, I don't know. Darling, why don't you like use your camera and like take a picture of that kind of thing or whatever you do? Because maybe when we get out of here, you could broadcast it. We can find their family and let them know. That's a good point, and I have been recording a lot of this already, so we'll do. Go oh, it's like I, I don't want to see that. He's just this like <laughs> quiet. Yeah. And then set on over to wherever we can. Yep. Uh, get next ops, up, yeah. Next up is ops. Uh, ops and the and has to do with various things. So who's going to take the the lead on that one? Who's going to go through the door first? Is the door like, open? Or is uh, it yeah, it opened. It's open, no problem. The whole thing's been okay. opened up. Like they blew all the air out of the out of the place. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. I can get straight up and grab. Uh, go right to the uh, captain's. Get the information we need. Just watch my back. Got you. So. Uh, just call it. Call, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, as folks go in, I'm actually going to, because we did see people and we still don't know what's going on on engineering, I'm going to kind of be ready to see if anything comes below us. Okay. Below us. Yeah, from the back of the ship. Okay. Um, yeah. You go on in the room. Uh, this room has taken probably the most damage you've seen. You can see it's severely riddled with holes. It's been heavily targeted. Um, mm. you, you can tell that they were trying to, like, whoever was attacking the ship was trying to disable it, not blow the cargo, basically. Um, mm. You can see that there is uh, various displays shattered, uh, but the displays and the, the, the consoles that are still intact look to be both the comms unit and the main data core computers. Okay. Comms would have what the last recorded sort of logs and stuff like that, or? Um, it would also probably be where they would start sending SOS that's from too. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll head straight to the comms right. first. I'm hearing, I'm hearing, um, uh, Ko is going to go and check out comms. Uh, what, what about everyone else here? Let me go. Let me go to uh, Phoenix. What do you want to do? I will go to the other computer and see if I can. Okay. Uh, Michael's, you're watching the back. You're just making sure no one else comes in or out. Uh, besides the entrance, you guys came through. That's pretty much the only way in here, unless someone's going to squeeze through one of the big holes in the side of that ship or something. Uh, Titania or uh, Lydia, what about you guys? Um. What what are are there any places that are already that are uh, like no one's looking in right now? I mean, there, there's like some consoles that are kind of quasi. A uh, few people can actually try to look at the the data core simultaneously for different things. So if you want to look at the okay. data core, that's another thing. Sure. Um, yeah. And then Olivia, I'm oh, sorry, go on. She's definitely. Re she. I was just saying she's definitely like recording everything okay. to pretty much at all times now. This is super weird. <laughs> um, and there's a little bit of blood in here as well, too. It's not as much, but there's a little bit of blood. Um, Olivia, what about, uh, what, what are you up to? Yeah, I guess I was, I was mostly just going to uh, search around, like, the physical uh, environment to see if there's anything that we can kind of um, infer or um, figure out based on just um, what happened physically. Because... Mm -hmm. uh, we got the two people on the computers already, so let me see if I can read the read the room. Okay, uh, all right, we'll start with Olivia. Give me a searching test. You start, and there's like debris in the room. There's like some just like chunks of metal and crap just floating around from where it got <laughs> shattered up. That is a twenty. I got 20. a six on the drama die. I got Ooh, a six nice. on the drama die, Ooh. and uh, it was double sixes. Very Ooh, nice. Good. Okay, so Thanks. here's how it's gonna go. So you start looking around the room, and yeah, you realize that ops was targeted. Whoever was attacking the ship wanted to get the cargo. Um, that's that's a pretty standard tactic to catch on. The one thing that's kind of throwing out your off is there's nothing in this room in it, but like, if it wasn't bolted down or someone could take it with them that was helpful here, it's gone. You can see like the emergency first aid kit in the room is gone. Um, there are no like, nothing's like left over. So if someone came through here or whoever was here, grabbed what they could and left to, to go with them. 
Um, but they left the data core, they left stuff like that. But they, they took like what would be a kind of survival gear with them. Where that stuff's gone. Where you should see that stuff around. Um, like the extra like air tanks aren't in here. There's not the extra emergency vac suits. None of that stuff's in here. Uh, quick question. When yes. was the last time you checked in with the captain? Uh, it's probably been about like close to like an hour or so. Well, maybe from this comms, if it's clear, because we couldn't get a signal through. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna tell everyone like it looks like someone took survival gear out of out of this area, and the fact that we have unaccounted for crew members is a little bit concerning. Yeah. Uh, so, so away from the wreckage, you thinking? People I'm thinking, out there. I'm thinking someone. It's possible. That maybe someone got on that ship that attacked them. Maybe mm. someone knew that that ship was going to get attacked in advance, and are gonna and are just kind of waiting there, waiting to maybe waiting for um, someone. I don't know this this whole cargo the cargo thing is really throwing me off. I'm worried that uh, someone uh, set this ship up as a as a trap. And then our, we might get something pinned on us since we're the first crew potentially checking this out. I need everyone yeah. to make a dexterity acrobatics test. Oh shit! Uh, uh-oh. Oh, God. Uh, oh God! The Earthers are at minus one. Oh no! And dexterity. Yeah. No. Oh no! What'd you get? What'd, what'd you get there, Koa? Uh, seven. Okay. <laughs> okay, we got ten there uh, for uh, Michael. All right. What about? Yeah. What about Phoenix? I got. I got an 18. Okay. Nice. I, I got three sixes oh. and then dexterity is oh, one. Good. You're good. You're good. And then what about uh, Olivia? 14. 14, you're good. Okay. Koa and Michael, as you guys are staying there, all of a sudden you feel like the like the whole ship kind of shifts a little bit more, like about five more degrees in an angle, and you guys kind of like fall over real quick. Uh, it's not enough for you to take any damage or puncture your suit, but like the ship is definitely like the way the ship started to like uh, crack on this kind of like uh, volcanic glass ground. Not okay. stable. Not we gotta stable. get off. Yeah. I'll tell you what, y'all, we should probably uh, maybe uh, step up what we're doing here. All right. Yeah, I yeah. don't think it was, uh, yeah, uh, the struts were out. It wasn't looking, uh, yeah, structurally sound. So we gotta get out of here. Um, let's go to Koa. Koa, you're taking a look at the comms unit. Uh, the comms unit has taken heavy damage. It's still functional. There's still some lights on on it. But, like, parts of it definitely aren't working anymore. Um, you uh, you go to try to, like, um, give, give me a technology test, intelligence technology. Okay. And you can use engineering on this if you want to. Uh, okay, yeah. Tangential. Okay. That's five. Okay, so that's six. Twelve. Three. Twelve. Two threes. Three on the drama. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. Um, twelve. Yeah, twelve. Okay. So you start taking a look at it, and the first thing you notice is, like, the comm unit does not work how you expect it to work. But what's weird about it, and this is where your engineering comes in, is you can see like there's like additional wires, like a, a whole panel has been pried open, and they've like someone rewired major parts of the comm unit. Yeah, I'll um, just pull up the whole panel. Yeah, okay. just kind of sh- show everybody it, it, like it looks like the computer parts of the of it aren't really working. But what they're someone's like running a signal through the comm unit just to use it as an amplifier, not to use it as an encoder or anything like that too. Okay. Um, to amplify the SOS yeah. probably. Yeah, and. It, what you figure out pretty quickly is the SOS is not coming from inside the ship. It's coming from somewhere else. Signal isn't coming from inside the ship. <laughs> it's it's the coming from somewhere coming else. From yeah. Inside the but, ship. What, what really throws you off is that there's like a giant, like there's like a, a cable or wire that goes into the commune where like you're, you're tracing this, like wherever the signal's going through. And it's actually fed through a hole in the, the side of the ship where the PDC is penetrated. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. So does that make sense? I can follow. Yeah, I could. It's threaded through the yeah, uh, from the outer. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pull up the panel and like let you know. I just be like, there's something really weird about this. Uh, um, this comm unit. It like look, it's like a false front thing, and I'll just pull it out, and it's been rewired. Yeah, and I'll just sort of reveal it. Okay. Then you showed everyone that this thing's been rewired heavily. It's not. Um... This thing's not doing. This thing's not where the signal's coming from. It's just doing the amplification. So whoever set this out, I'm thinking the fact we're 
we're already here. They know we're here. Or someone is leading us to this, so... Uh, we should get off this thing, too. <laughs> like, yeah, immediately. Yeah. I have a uh, bad feeling. Phoenix, uh, you were going with the computer system. Uh, you kind of pull up the, the data core and everything here. Uh, start pulling up logs, all that kind of stuff that you need to, like, go through it. Um, you, um, you, start, you do manage to kind of get into, like, kind of a... Um, a uh, kind of a history of the ship and what's kind of gone on with it for a while. Uh, taking a look at, like, the different thruster logs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, basically, the ship came into the system two weeks ago and was headed for the, the main planet, Castilla. Uh, the Rattel is an independent cargo ship, so it's not like a cargo hauler, so it's not like a, a, it's part of any union. It just gets kind of, like, hired up by whoever. Um, but then you start seeing, like, where the logs go up and you kind of read the story of the ship. It's not someone telling you it. It's just more of, like, going through what the ship t- is, like, logging about itself. Mm-hmm. Um, basically, they got ambushed, it seems like, by pirates. Um, and it looks like uh, the PDCs on the ship got like started firing. They took some torpedo damage, but based on the kind of the course of it all, um, you're guessing they actually beat the pirates. Uh, That's but, a good... they, but their ship was heavily damaged in the the battle. Is it? Is there anywhere in the data log that show of any survivors? And then uh, it stops, or is yeah? It, it shows a crew log. Um, basically what it says though is that like they saw that this moon uh, Castilla 9 or this planet Castilla 9 is still tagged for like scouting the reason why it's tagged for scouting too is there's like reports of like a weird energy signature on this moon like some weird kind of interference and they said well that's as good as any maybe, maybe there's something there or people will come look for it later on so this is our best place to survive um, and uh, it looks like they evacuated the ship uh, based on what you what you know though is that uh the uh, two of the crew members were killed. The rest, though, evacuated the ship. Um, so you have a list of there's a total of nine members of the crew. There's nine, yeah, eight or nine. Okay. <laughs> eight or nine. I, I'm I'm like relaying this as I'm figuring right. it out too, like live, no filter, just keep going while I'm talking. Yeah, and you That's have the it. following. If you, I'll list it out for you. You have the following survivors: uh, Keb Balangir, uh, who was the tech. Uh, yeah. if it, if it, uh, Galatis, the engineer, uh, John Joy and Kip Sanger are both dead. That was the, te- that was one of the tech, uh, the technicians and the engineer. They're both dead. Uh, the captain survived. Anton Prakesh, who was a gunner, survived. Uh, Kaylee Rajar, who was their comms officer, survived. And Pav Sumi, who was their pilot, also survived. Hmm. Um, yeah, so if you got a captain that survived, the captain would know something. That's a lot of people that survived, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're out there. They got to be out there. Right. Yeah. That's, it counts for all the missing e- uh, EA or the vac suits and the yeah. med gear. And the the law is going to say that like they they went and checked for some like uh, there was reports of like some sort of weird energy signal. They followed that down. They found tunnels. They said they've just they've since decided to occupy the tunnels. And what's weird about it though, Phoenix, is that they claim that the tunnels have atmosphere. Hmm. That's interesting. Uh, does it give it an idea where these tunnels are at? Um, it says it's only about 50 meters from the crash site. The so walking distance easily. A lot closer than two kilometers. I say we get out of here anyways because it is, you know, shifting and it doesn't seem like there's anything nefarious that we need to worry about inside this ship. Yeah. Let's hope what about- there's definitely survivors. And that's, that's our number one priority is to bring those guys back. What about the uh, grain and, uh, you know, all the credits we could get from that? You don't think uh, we got time to haul any of that out? I'd say the survivors first. Survivors can help us haul grain. Yeah. The other all right, roger are, that. You guys are two kilometers out over volcanic glass. Moving that stuff can be very difficult. Yeah. Um, even if you had mechs or you had any of that kind of stuff, it's going to be very difficult to move across, so... Um, that's a whole nother adventure, to say the least. But literally, what the adventure said, that's a whole nother adventure. <laughs> we, can, we can come back for that. What I, yeah. so just kind of as a question. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they got into battle with pirates, and then the pirates got destroyed, like in space, and that's why there's no additional wreckage around. Yeah, like, this they got they got uh, hit pretty hard. It says basically they're saying their PDCs like shredded the ship. Um, they caught the core, and the core went on the ship. 
And unless someone oh. had like a scope point of that position, they probably wouldn't pick up a core going that quickly. This is a pretty, this is a pretty um, thinly uh, occupied um, system so far. Let's go look for these guys and see how they're doing. I'd like to <laughs> shake hands with this pilot. <laughs> Yeah, their survival uh, survival skills can only get you so far. You need supplies at some point. Do that, do that. They're gonna have right. a limited time. Let's go. All right. Uh, so I'm hearing you guys want to get off the ship and head down to the uh, head down to the surface here. Tunnel time. Yeah. Tunnel time. Tunnel right. time. Yeah. <laughs> what could go wrong? Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You guys, you guys gather your stuff, head off the ship, uh, move back to the cargo, the the cargo bay, and everything, uh, no problem. Um, you can see the explosives. You guys walk past; they're no longer active. Um, and uh, you get on the surface and start kind of following the the location. Um, you can actually see where this like this uh, wire they brought down actually like goes. You can actually follow it along the surface pretty easily. Uh, yeah, but I do need because yeah. uh, we're. While, while the quick start did not have it, we have it in our game because we love it, is the churn. We have a churn 10 yeah. that happening. Oh, crap. So Ooh. I do need uh, one person. Who, who do we want to have They roll a d6 of the churn? Olivia. She's Olivia. Olivia. Okay, Olivia. Yeah. Yeah. Marcy. Yeah. Roll the d6 and see what you get. A five. A five. Okay. Nothing happens. Yay. No churn events. All right. <laughs> um, you guys head out of the ship and uh, find the wire and start following it along to uh, these areas. It's a pretty, it goes for a little while until it hits a area where like, it actually is on a receiver. You can see it's like a wireless receiver once and that wireless receiver is kind of like pointed right at the entrance to this cave. We, sh- we should announce ourselves. Yeah, we yeah. should announce Anybody ourselves. Anybody home? <laughs> because they yeah. definitely probably set that trap for pirates probably they thought the the cavern's up against a cliff face pretty good sized cliff face that goes up um uh not too far away from the rattel about 50 meters out uh looks like they they missed it by a pretty good amount uh when they landed here uh it also might be a lot of the reason why the interference of the signal here is so bad i will be as loud as i possibly can to announce our presence you bring up your (laughs) loudspeaker uh you're still you're still in like vacuum uh they're not going to hear you I was uh, gonna say, can yeah. we? Yeah, we're in knock. vacuum, so we can like knock on the okay. on the volcanic well, glass. You, you, like the, you can see where the volcanic glass is kind of formed up. There's, it's kind of formed up around this like, kind of weird cave here, and you don't see the atmosphere in the cave. Like it's not signaling anything, but it's dark, um, and it looks like it continues on for a ways down. Can we do like a, a Morse code signal, uh, you know, signaling kind of thing? Flashlight. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like so like you can have your light blink. That's not a problem. Okay, yeah, yeah, so you yeah, can have yeah. your light blinks a little, blink a little bit here to catch it. Um, the um, the the cavern's circular. It's about two meters wide, not terribly wide. Um, and you can see that, like, as you approach it, it's it's that jagged glass on the way out. But as you look into it, it's like smooth, like like fairly, actually pretty nice looking, to be honest. Uh, this like blackened glass, a little bit of green tinge to it here and there. Mm-hmm. Something we could slide on. Uh, it's, it's not that not that steep in the ground. It's not that high, oh, but yeah. Okay. And you never know what you're gonna slide into. True. True. Yeah. True. True. That, it might be smooth now, me, but there might. Yeah. Be smooth. Yeah. Like I said, y'all, y'all, y'all. I am not that smart, but it sure looks like it could be fun. <laughs> you got that. You got that tough skin that yep. we just yeah, don't true. have. It's hard. Uh, let me ask this: Who who wants to go in the cave first? Who wants to lead the? Uh, the dungeon, as it would be. All right, so I got to start at the front. Who do I have? Who do I have second? I'll go second. I'll go Talk third. Pure okay. curiosity than anything. All right, who, who's bring, next? I'll, I'll, I'm gonna bring up the rear. Oh. Okay. Oh okay. yeah. I'll be second. Second to the rear. Second to the rear. Okay. And you're yeah. gonna have a uh, Marsh, We gotta stick together. The Martians. Sandwich, you know, gotcha. I, yeah. Martians in the back. And also, gotcha. And yeah. keep the belter in the and keep our one our, our, our very valuable belters in the middle. Yeah. Okay. I also have, yeah, and also I can always help if I help somebody who's also a Martian. I get some. By the way, yeah, don't forget you have that relationship bonus on your sheet. Uh, you get yeah. one free stunt point to spend to help any of the other crew members here too. So uh, we are the relationship mechanic is is there in play. So if you need some extra stunt points, like 
help someone out or whatever it is that that's there. Okay. Um, Michael, so you, you started dancing through this thing with your lights blinking a little bit here. Everyone has lights on. Um, you head down the path for a few meters. And as you do, you come up to a circular, what looks to be like an iris valve, kind of like, like, a, like it opens up like that, uh, right. of like some sort of metal. Like it's not the cavern, not the cavern, it's not the volcanic glass. It is like some sort of like, um, per, like mother of pearl type, like kind of bluish, darkish, uh, metallic material that's in like an iris shape. Be a good thing to knock on, I believe, Ken. Yeah, I'm, I'm first I'm gonna like wave my hand, and okay. then how, how close do you want to get to it? When you it? Okay, so you walk huh? up to it. As you walk up to it, it unfurls and opens up into a small room, about two meters by four meters. Whoa! And across the way, you can see another iris uh, door. Well, I tell you what, look at that. Okay, can I try the other one? Can I get close to it and see if it'll open for me? Okay. Um, you walk across uh, the room here. Um, and it doesn't open up. Oh, that's disappointing. Well, Maybe you got to have that magic touch there, Michael. Maybe I'll tell you, you what, here we go. <laughs> doesn't like you. <laughs> you walk up to it, it doesn't open up. Um, what about everyone else? So I, I hear Phoenix and Michael are, are inside the room, like messing with the other door. What about uh, Koa, uh, Titania, and Olivia? I mean, Titania is definitely like... Uh, recording the events um, kind of just like <laughs> hovering but trying not to be like too annoying with it um, it's it's definitely something different uh, whatever it is this is not human made at all yeah so she's trying to get like some good shots of it right. like for future reference assuming they get out of there in one piece you go into the room and you start, you start getting nice video of it all uh, what yeah. about Koa and Olivia you guys are in the back I was going to try to see if I could determine like how much of the it, like metallic versus organic but if it's not human made then then to me it doesn't really like doesn't matter it's just kind of a weird thing um, going on you know, this would be like a really this is a you can make a i'm gonna if you want to make a hard difficult intelligence test here you can to figure out what, what's going on here um yeah let yeah. me know yeah, I was gonna say like, can I use my potentially medic skill to be able to figure out like how, like it, organic versus it's metallic? not organic um but make a make an intelligence test yeah. Oh wow, that is uh, a total of nine. Okay, yeah, you, you know it's like alien tech. I got, tech sort, I got but, double ones. But you don't Snake know much eyes. about it. Yeah, you don't know much about what's going on with it. Uh, what think about on survivors? What about Koa? I mean, it's not some kind of mechanism that's even remotely familiar to me. I, I'm assuming just because of the tech, but I, I, mean, I want to. You've just... seen iris battle before. They, they're pretty efficient, pretty effective. But this one, you can tell, like with the one you saw, it's like airtight. Yeah, um, I'm just gonna look. I mean, is there any like? Can I can I do any readings to see if like? You want you want to go into the room? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Once the last one of you enters the room, the I the one iris you guys came through closes immediately and seals, and the other one just closed as well. Oh, they're both closed. Yes, they're both closed. Uh, I turn back. Can we just? I would try to wave at the one. <laughs> uh, you go over to it. You like wave at it. It doesn't do anything. Tap on it doesn't do anything. What'd you do, Koa? Are we trapped? I don't know. I, I just stepped in. I was gonna take a look at it. Uh, now we're we're stuck in here. Hmm. That's not good. I mean, how did the survivors? Were they in here? Maybe we can. I'm just start like touching the walls. Okay. Um, <laughs> Olivia, you, uh, the walls have like this weird lattice to them too, with like this like this kind of mother of pearl opalescence type, type thing it's a kind of a blue hue the light hits it weird it, it, it just it reflects very differently than you expect it to um but olivia as, you, as you're kind of standing there uh you're uh you start getting some uh on your suit you start getting some like weird readings like stuff like starts kind of beeping a little bit on your suit uh, you take a look at it and it says that like it's detecting oxygen uh oxygen levels are going up around the suit on the outside of the suit um huh I kind of had suspicions that this functioned a little bit like an airlock, and now I think that that's kind of confirmed. Um, it's not breathable know. yet. I will say that it's not breathable yet, but it's yeah, it's, uh, uh, it's raising. Don't get too excited, but this room's filling with oxygen. Oh, but oh yeah, the pressure levels are changing. Do not take off <laughs> your suits yet. 
Yeah, I'm just building mine from the whole time we're here, so that's okay. Huh. Um, so you're watching the numbers go up. Uh, they're going up kind of slow, but like there's they're they don't stop going up. Uh, what about the rest of you? What about uh, Titania, Michael, uh, Phoenix? What about the rest of you? I am in wonder of everything I see around here. Okay. Yeah, I think it's pretty similar for uh, Titania. It's one of those things where it's like she's recording, but then at at one point, like eventually, kind of just gets distracted from the task of recording by like looking at actual real life mm-hmm. in front of her. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you start taking it in, and it's it's really beautiful to look at. For a while, it's kind of enchanting to look at the colors, the blue hues are really interesting. Um. Olivia, you, you watch the numbers go up. Uh, about 10 minutes into it, uh, the numbers are actually high enough for you guys to breathe. It's not like the best atmosphere, but it, it's there's worse stations with worse atmospheres than this. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep my helmet on. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Doc, what do you think? Is it safe? Breathable? Technically, it's safe. If you say it's safe, l- let me know. Uh, do you think it's going to get like better than what it is right now? I think it's kind of the numbers are going up. I mean, they're still they're still getting better and better. All right, uh, I wouldn't say take it off now. Technically, it is breathable now, but I, it seems like the levels are are continuing to get better. I'm waiting. I I don't want to remove anything until it we- reaches some kind of stability and and holds. I ain't taking off nothing until until you do. You heard yeah. that, Phoenix? You could take off your helmet then. Just kidding. <laughs> Not gonna do it. <laughs> Um, yeah. uh, yes. Let's keep our helmets on for now, y'all. Yeah. Banter for a while, but about 15 minutes after the roof first sealed, uh, all of a sudden the other iris just opens up, and the atmosphere is like really it stabilizes. Hmm. It's now equal to whatever on the other side of the door. Yeah. All right. It does seem like we were in some kind of airlock-ish situation. <laughs> I will say that the tunnel beyond, though, is dark. Your lights penetrated, but the walls are that kind of blue, dark blue me- like metallic lattice type stuff going on. Um, but you can see down that hallway. Hmm. Let's get out of this airlock. Let's well, get out of this. I mean, uh, seconded. <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe somebody can tell that we're here now with all this happening, so hopefully we'll see somebody soon. And I'm not being very quiet, so I would assume eventually they'd hear me. Yeah. I mean, it's it's saying it's breathable now, so if we take these off, we could probably start, you know, giving vocal commands. Or we can continue flashing our, our headlamps. Yeah. yeah, I don't know about taking this off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's... what if somebody just, like, pushes some big old looking shiny button and then we're fucked? But right, they're not going to be able to see your your face clearly, uh, right. Titania, with your helmet on. So well, I don't there know. could be something. <laughs> the the air could be too good to be true, you know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The iris could be too good to be true, and we'll find out. Um, you do notice up ahead though that the the walls become more complicated. So besides just the lattice, you can see there's like, for lack of a better term, cables and some protrusions, and there's like occasionally like a blue light kind of flashes on one of the walls here and there. Um either in the wall or on the cables or kind of moves along the walls, but it's, you, there's no discernible pattern to it. And, the, the, alert. and the, the hallway does open up a lot wider. Now it's like six meters wide. So just four instead of two meters wide. Well, that's nice. Yeah. Um, you spread out now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, let me see here. Who wants to go through first? Shit, I'll go. All right, Michael. You start moving on down the door here. Um, the first thing that points that as you go down the hall about like, uh, you get down about like uh, seven meters or so, uh, you notice there's like reflected off the wall. It's not, it's not glowing, it's reflecting. There's like some yellow, like, it doesn't look like any of the stuff that like you've seen here already. It's like a yellow colored on the wall. Kind of like a drippy uh. thing. Is it something that I would have seen back home, maybe? That's like, um, I would recognize that it's like maybe you, a mold or something you, like that? You, get a, you kind of come around and keep a distance, and you can see a spray paint. It's like reflective yellow spray paint. Oh, oh, okay. And on it is a giant arrow pointing the way you were going down the hall, and above it is the word poorly written in spray paint, Rattel. Okay, so it's the name of the ship. Yeah. All right, well, it looks like we're on the right path. We should uh, follow this here arrow. 
Um, you continue on down the path in the, in the standard marching order. Uh, the darkness keeps on going, but your guys' light penetrates as you can see how your lights flash on and off here. Um, as you come up to, you go about, about 20 meters or so, uh, now 30 meters down the path here. Uh, and the, the area is kind of leveled. It feels, it doesn't feel terribly sloped because uh, it's going to that cliff side. You can see that like, it comes up to a junction where there's three ways, there's three directions. There's the left, right, and the center. Um, on the ceiling, um, in the uh, in the center of it, uh, I'm sorry, on the floor, on the center of the intersection, you can see another arrow pointing down the, towards the center. Well, I think that's the arrow that we should be following. Agreed. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah they're leaving us a little, bl- uh, you know, crumbs. So. Uh, okay. All right, you guys keep on moving. Uh, this path, you guys take a kind of a steady pace on it. This one's a lot longer. Uh, it's you don't see any more of the spray paint. Uh, you see the last work occasionally the random blue light, but you keep on moving through it. Um, seems like it's, it's at least as long, if not longer, than the whole path you've gone down this way. Do you guys want to keep on going? Do you want to do anything? Um, what do you guys want to do? We don't I'm see all any for more. keeping down the path. So you know, wherever the arrow's pointing us, we should go. Right. right. Yep. Yeah. You keep on moving. What was that? That makes the most sense. Commit to the action. That's right. You're trapped. <laughs> <laughs> um, and if anything, we can find our way out this way. Follow the right. arrows back out. You you come up to uh, as you go down. You come into a room that is uh, three meters in diameter and it's an octagon shape. Unlike the previous place that had like the lattice and like the wires on it, this one is completely smooth with like the um, the pearl essence wall, blue walls, or kind of blew off walls when the lights hit it. Um, but uh, as you as you walk into it, you can see that the opposite, the wall on the opposite side opens up. As soon as you walk in the room, Michael, you see that the, the other wall, which looked completely flat, now suddenly kind of like dissolves into another uh, door. Do you want to keep on going, Michael? Uh, <laughs> yep, keep going. You take a walk through, and uh, if it was anyone else in the crew, Michael, you'd think they probably would have screamed, but. Not you. You're you're a marine. You survived the the rock fall. You've seen the horrors of, of war oh. and such. You see a room just scattered with uh, corpses and body parts, blood along the walls, uh, with tons of gear, boxes of like survival gear, bandages, food wrappings, uh, sleeping bags, um, vac suits, just strewn about the floor here, uh, in a in a room of just utter gore. All right, I'm going to kind of try to stop everybody from coming this way. Okay. Coming in the door. Um, um, the, you are thankful, though, that you... The first thing you are thankful for, though, is that you kept your vac suits on because you don't have to smell this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Olivia, um, I think that you might want to see this, but I don't really recommend anybody else looks at this. All right, um... I will, I'm on my way in, um, and upon seeing the bodies, I think, take a second, and then I'm going to start essentially counting parts and seeing how many complete people I can make. Not like touching anything, but just like essentially trying to- How many sets can you make, yeah. How many complete sets of people can I make? Um, The (laughs) room's 15 meters by 30 meters long. It's pretty damn big. It's it's like bigger than your, it's almost, you could almost fit your ship in here. and uh, you can see it has the lattice, the interwoven lattice and the cables along the walls and everything. Uh, the ceiling's kind of an arch in this area, eight meters above you. Um, you can see that there are like these kind of, the one that's kind of weird is these like weird shapes that are kind of protruding from the wall. Um, they kind of remind you of the shape of spark plugs, but much larger. Um, and uh, you start kind of like looking through the room. Um, go ahead and... Uh, Give me a um, medicine check here, uh, Olivia, as you try to uh, dig through all the problems here. I think it's just intelligence for you. Mm-hmm. 
An eleven. Uh, oh, that's good. With a couple of with the doubles with the dumb, with the damage right. die snake eyes Bonus. again. Okay, so you get you get a little bit more information here. <laughs> um, so yeah, you do determine that there is the remains of five people here. Uh, total. In addition, the one thing that's throwing you off though is like there are you see like metal shell casings around and everything just like that. Like there was a fight here, but the one thing that's weird is like there's like scraps of metal that are of this kind of weird make, this kind of dark brownish metal that doesn't look human at all. Um, there's like pieces of it, chunks of it along the ground here and there. Pretty good, pretty good sizes of it. Hmm. Um, but I'm you identify uh, you identify some of them though are identifiable. Uh, you can pull up the name tags. Uh, you do identify the Captain Lin, and you find uh, Prakesh as well. Um, the other ones, though, you do have you have like bodies that you're pretty sure are different people, but you can't tell who they are due to that, like how torn up they are. Um, yeah. All right. So, um, in looking around this room and looking at all the the metal stuff and everything, in what. Does it look like that any of that was like a projectile thing? Um, it looks like they were firing. Uh, you can see that their bodies were largely like hacked apart or ripped apart, um, pulled, cut. Uh, they have abrasions. Some of them have like severed limbs, um, stuff like that too. There's a lot of blood in here on the ground. Um, uh, I kind of float around here and there, kind of pulling in the corners. Um, and then you can see that they had weapons as well here uh, in addition. Uh, some of which are destroyed, some of which are still on the ground here or there. You can see the, the arms still holding them or whatever it is. So it doesn't look like that somebody just came in and shot up the room, but that, or that like any kind of these like little metal bits would have been like shrapnel. It doesn't look like shrapnel could, damage or does it look like- The, the walls are still in really good torn. shape. The walls are still really good shape, but like the scrap metal doesn't line up with anything you've ever seen before or okay. anything they would have with them. Um. And then, uh, but yeah, you, you ID uh, five bodies. So, uh, and you know the crew of the ship was a total of eight. So we got one, one unaccounted for. Mm -hmm. Are we missing Monique? No, Monique is dead on the back on the Monique? ship. Okay, uh, Monique. Uh, there, there are the, the problem John. is there's there's uh, several bodies you can't identify. So you're not sure which ones. Uh, still right, there. Right. Um, you, you are welcome. I will say this with your med kit. Uh, you are welcome to take some excessive time and do DNA testing to try to identify the bodies, but that will take quite a while. I'm not going to do that right now. The okay. bodies will will continue to stay here. They're not going anywhere, as far as I know. So is there is there anything that we can use to maybe like cover up some of the horror that's in this room for the rest of the people? I mean, there's bags. Well, all right, just, I'm going to start throwing sleeping bags okay. all over shit. All right. Did you see there was meat there that wasn't human? No, metal. That, that wasn't human made. Metal. metal. Okay. Oh, my God. Not scratch <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. All right. Okay. Very um, big difference there. <laughs> I figure blood everywhere is going to be enough. So I'm going to, especially anything that's just like parts, parts. Mm -hmm. I want to kind of gather some up and just like cover it with sleeping bags and stuff. So it's less horrifying. The damage on the bodies is more like ripped apart versus sliced, or uh, like more. They were more like torn versus. Um, yeah, I guess I'm just looking for like how clean were these cuts. So gruesome. Something. So uh, would I be able to help with that? Because I, you know, being from the earth, you know, is that I've seen animals, yeah. um, right? Of the way the animals tear meat apart. I'll, I'll tell you this: it's a mixed bag. The deal, some of some are some were like you can tell were like pulled apart, others were cut apart. Um, it's mixed. They've been inside. Some there look like for they were really tools, long like, like clean cut by tools. Some look like they were brutally pulled apart. So it, it's a it's a mixed bag there. Um, How low were they on supplies? Like, uh, they had pretty good supplies. Uh, you can tell the, you're kind of sitting through. It. It looks like they weren't here long. The the there was a pretty good amount of food left. Um, you can, uh, but let me go back to the other rest of the group. So, so you guys have Michael and Olivia going over the room saying, wait a moment. Uh, what are you guys doing while they're telling you to wait a moment? Uh, they've been uh, freaking out. They've been in there a real long okay. time. I think, yeah. I don't think they found anything enough. good, man. Okay. I don't know what we're doing out of here anymore. I'm starting to, starting to lose it. Yeah. yeah. Starting to think, uh, 
This, uh, we're not going to find any survivors. We're going to need rescuing. I mean, we still can't get the comms up. We still can't contact the captain. Right. I'm like... <laughs> I feel I like mean, we'd yeah. be itching to like follow them at this point and <laughs> see what they uh, found. Uh, you know? Tony, no, your, no. Your, your curiosity kills your cat, man. You go in there. You know? I, uh, yeah, I ain't going in there. I feel like Titania is like saying I'm going in because I I gotta get the mm-hmm. content. Uh, <laughs> all right, so you you go into the you go into the room and you can see the bloody mess and you see Olivia and Michael like taking these uh, sleeping bags apart and covering up stuff like that too. Um, and yeah, you can see there's a pretty much good war. There's like these massive like chunks of scrap metal in the room. It looks like someone like mangled a car maybe or something like that. Like a like you know like scrap like part of a ship or something like that. It's it's really strange. Um, well, that's weird. Okay, sorry. Oh, go ahead. No, oh, you're good. Yeah, so that's what you see in the room as they're taking care of business here. Um, I mean, at recording as always, she's you know got her her uh, hand terminal out, but is I think uh, out loud says something like, uh, you know, uh, getting some spring cleaning done. <laughs> what the fuck happened in here? Like, right. oh my god, um, <laughs> the horror, the horror. Titania, give me a, a perception test. Give me a raw perception test. Oh, that's. <laughs> I think you got a plus two to this, plus three? Plus two. I think so. Yeah. Plus, plus two. two. Okay. Alright. Let's see how we did her. Okay, sorry, I can't. You're good, you're good. <laughs> I, I got three fours. Oh, wow, okay, so, so it's 14? Plus two. Yeah. yeah. 14, awesome. So um, you take a second here and you kind of take in the information, you take in the room for a moment, and you notice that there. Like some of the the boxes that had food in them and everything, they're like kind of like uh, the crates they would bring food in here with them. Um, there's a lot of it right. missing. Mm-hmm. Like you would expect to see wrappers or like or like excessive stuff here, but based on how long they've been here, there's nowhere they ate that much food. But there's a bunch of food missing from the room, or like supplies. And med- there's no you don't see any medical supplies when so you guys know they took medical been- supplies. Yeah, so it looks like it's like we aren't maybe the first people to come across this. Like maybe it's been looted already, or looted by one person who is planning on making it solo. And, and as you and as you get your content here, Titania, you you notice too that there's like some bloody footprints leading to the back of the chamber. Ooh, okay. I definitely want to follow those, but I I think I would like let people know like, hey, um, I see some weird <laughs> footprints. I'm gonna go kind of see what's up. But uh, if you hear me scream, uh, please help. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix, you going in there? I, I, I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting for the clear. I, th- I, I kind of wouldn't mind going back to the ship, but I guess we could <laughs> go <wait>. in. <laughs> I'm gonna wait until uh, Toussard or uh, the doc tells us, uh, you know, they're all done bagging the the gore. Okay. Almost. <laughs> Almost there. Take your time. No rush. <laughs> um, Tony, as you come as you go to the back, you can see uh, with your lights here, there is a uh, large four meter sized door, um, similar kind of structure to the iris stuff you've seen. Um, but you can see there's another door in the back of this chamber. Okay. Can I, I can I get it open or is you it pro- like... You, you see the just they open up when you approach within a few meters of them. So if you want to walk up to it, you can. Okay. Yeah. I want to walk up to it. You walk up to it. It does not open. Okay, so, hmm. I, gu- I guess I would ask if anybody is interested in helping me get this door open. <laughs> if anybody's stronger, maybe. Possibly. Uh, maybe we can force it. We might need to get yeah. all of this in here, and then it'll close yeah. and then open up the next section. That's so, true. Say maybe. when it's clear. <laughs> all right, I, I think we've we've kind of done the best we can. Yeah. Right. Oh. Come on in, Ko, y'all. Ko is gonna go in. I all just right. not. I don't want to see the the, so, the horror. All right, so so Ko, you come on in. You you kind of. Walk in. Nothing bothers they've, me. They've moved over the bodies over to one side of the room here, um, and you guys come on in. But yeah, uh, Titania's at the back of the hallway, looking at this this door that's not opening for her. <laughs> yeah, engineer and pilot. Um, you recognize any of this? Twisted metalish stuff. Like, could you? Yeah, can I make out what it was 
uh, um, yeah, reconstruct give me, like a, give me an engineering test here. Okay, plus five. Yeah. All right, all right. 17, uh, two fives, five on the drama. Based on one of the shapes of it, it one, of the, one of the parts looks like a leg, like a mechanical leg of some sort, almost insectoid-like. Uh, oh God. this looks like <laughs> some type of appendage or some type of thing. I, I mean, it looks like a, a le- leg. And I don't know. Alien tech or something. It looks like it's made out of the same stuff as the walls. Yeah, but more like, um, it's like, it's like a darkish color. It's not as blue. It's more of like a brownish, reddish color. Yeah. Confirm that. Yeah. It looks like the, probably the same, but just not active anymore. Yeah. I'm what assuming it's got other legs. <laughs> what's that? What's that, Phoenix? I said I hope there's not more of them other than what's on the floor right here. Uh, yeah. I can tell you. I can tell you. There's probably more legs because this is just but, one. And Tatani, as you stand there, you can see on the floor going up to that sealed door. There's like bloody footprints that went right up to the door, but nothing else. But, you don't see like a body yeah. or anything over there. So something. I feel like we need to get the door open, but I definitely don't think I can do it by myself. Um, I'll help. I got nothing going on. Well, I appreciate it, and somebody needs to just be ready in case there's something inside there we're not expecting. Well, I can totally be ready. I mean, are right. you looking at this leg? This is an insect yeah, leg? Right. <laughs> All right, folks. I'm trying like, to figure yeah. out how much of this was human on human violence and potentially alien on human violence. Yeah. I'm def- definitely loading my my pistol okay. ready. All right, get your pistol ready here. Um, so who's gonna go- so this, yeah, the door's just not opening. The other ones have opened up as you kind of come up to them. Um, let me have everyone here make an intuition check. So this will be perception intuition. Yeah. I say you get re- real I close to it. it. I don't think <laughs> Percept- anyone, no, I don't I think anyone has intuition. I only have yeah, perception. perception then, yeah. 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 14 for me. 14. 14. I also got a 14, but I got a 6 on the drama okay. die. Drama die, so we got a high. What else we got? I got oh. 2. We got a 14 also. Okay. 14. I also got a 14. You guys are the devil. Hey, look uh, at this all is, of us. This is eerie. Y'all, y'all the devil. Um, yeah, this is eerie. Eerie. <laughs> um, uh, uh, my regular dice. So, Titania, you've been standing at the door for a while, and as you do, you see that, like, the kind of random blue lights you've been seeing and the cables with like the blue lights on them, none of them have flashed near this door at all. Hmm. So I'm trying to, I don't know what that would indicate, but maybe a power source, uh, color yeah. would think just sort of like, do those things come off the walls, or they're just like the yeah. which one? Oh, the wire. The, the cables you can kind of move them around if you want to a little bit, um, but they don't like getting them free, so it could be a real chore. Okay, yeah. There's also the I question: mean, if you want to mess with mess with the technology that has an atmosphere in it too? So there's that. Element. Right, right, right. <laughs> That's true. I, yeah, I definitely feel like she'd be like not eager to mess with tech she doesn't understand, but like she's definitely curious about what's it's know, it's going solid on over the, there. The door is solid too. I mean, it's metal. Like you've seen them open up, and yeah. it looks identical to the previous doors, but it's just a bigger one. But you, I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, you think? I mean, you could try to like pry it open, uh, blow it up. You guys have there, you know there's explosives back on the ship. Uh, there's a lot of things here you can right. try to do. You got guns. Uh, Michael's pretty strong. Well, sort of. You could have, have Michael like try to like you know go fuerte on it. I mean, too sard. You want to give right. it a go? Here you go. Hold this for me. <laughs> Definitely think it's just lo- lacking whatever power source that was making these go on. I'm gonna um, hand uh, Koa my rifle Uh-oh. so I can manhandle the door. Oh yeah, I gladly take your rifle. All right, you, you get <laughs> some, manhandle that you, door. You get some like tools here and you try to like pry into it a little bit here. Uh, this will be a strength might check for uh, Michael Tassar. So you have a plus oh, two right. strength. Yep. Oh yeah, you got a. <laughs> Four, six, eight, nine. nine. Oh, sorry, ten. 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 Okay. Yeah, you go up to it. And you start. Uh, it, ain't, it ain't budging for you. Um, it's it's not it's not even giving any give on it at all here. All right. Somebody else want to help me out with this? I would like to just try knocking and see if anybody knocks back on the other side. All right. Um, it's like hit it pretty hard. All right. Uh, what do you want to hit it with? I mean, it's metal, so I mean. 
Um, I would like to grab that insectoid leg. Like, okay, thing. you grab one. Of the, you grab one of the pieces. Of the, you grab like a piece of metal off, off the insectoid leg type shape or something like that. And yeah. You go up to it, and uh, what are you going to do? Just hit it, or what? Yeah, I'm just going to keep hitting it. Like, do like Morse code in a way. All right. What do you, you want to say in Morse code? Like SOS or help? Yeah, or... SOS or okay. something like yeah, something that would get it. You get yeah. kind of like the classic SOS stuff here a little for a little bit here. I, I, um, I think our pilot's losing it. And uh, kind of tapping awesome. on I'm it. Talking, buddy. Oh and uh, about like uh, you, you go and do that for maybe like how long do you want to do that for? About five minutes or so. Five minutes. Okay, so you spend the time. Okay, so you spend the time doing the code on it for a while. Uh, not even Back five on. minutes into it. In, about like forty-five seconds into it. Uh, you start hearing, uh, you start hearing a bang back from, on the other side. Some sort of metal on metal. Oh, that's not good. I and don't it, like that. And it's coming back. Um, as a, it's coming back uh, in Morse code as well. And it what says, it? it says help. Someone's got to be back. Oh, no, it says, it says safe. Oh, safe. Okay. Safe. I'm gonna like, see. Knocking is always beneficial instead of just barging in. A- ask um, who it is. Ask who it is, in your in Morse code. Yeah, can I just can I do um, just in Miriam? Wait, the, like, so you put Miriam. Okay, so you say you're uh, Miriam, and uh, is that what you want to say entirely? Just Miriam, or you want to like say more in uh, there? I guess I could do a whole sentence. And just take longer. Yeah. Um, I'll say something like, "What what happened to your crew?" Okay, what happened? Um, you uh it takes a second here and it, oh, com- it, it comes back and they morse code over uh the the word kaylee that was on the crew manifest that was one person on the crew and says um basically comes back and like more elaborately says is it safe out there um is it pretty cleaned up though did you guys clean it up a little bit right yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah it was cleaner don't, just, just, don't touch the sleeping good. bags. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't touch the sleeping bags. <laughs> okay. Do you want to ask Kaylee if Kaylee's alone? Yeah. I could say that. Uh, alone. Alone. Uh, it comes back to yes. Or hurt? Ask but, maybe see if she goes back clear. asking, is it um is it safe? I'll send back I think so. Okay. Because we don't know what, what happens. Or, or safe, safe from what? Yeah. <laughs> or, yeah, safe, define from what. safe, yeah. Co- Co is like, safe from what? Safe from what? He's <laughs> kind of... That makes more sense. Yeah. Nervous. Okay. Um, What's she talking about? <laughs> as you... Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's say, I suppose... Uh, um, Olivia... As you're as you're standing there watching them kind of do this and everything, uh, just double checking the bodies and such, uh, you uh, make a perception test real quick. Oh man! I know. Uh, perceive, perceive. <laughs> That's an uh, eleven. Okay, eleven. Okay. Um, okay. You're standing there and like you don't. Uh, all of a sudden, you kind of like get like a like some movement off to the right. Uh, so it's the opposite direction where they are, uh, back the way you came, and uh, you you kind of see this like metal like insectoid like creature uh, with like uh, four, with like it has like four legs, and then like out of the top of it was really weird is it has like rubber like ropes coming out of the top of its head, and they just kind of like flail about as it enters, and it seems nope. to be. Um, like walking right towards where you are. Uh, what do you want to? Uh, what do you want to do here, uh, Olivia? And it's about the size of like, it's it's like the size of um, maybe like a dining room table, not like super long, but it's it's pretty good size. I'm gonna maybe say like a, uh, size of a soda machine. That that's the best way to describe. It. I, yeah, size uh, of a soda machine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna uh, say, uh, Michael, and. Uh, Michael, you hear Point. Olivia over the thing. You look back and you see Olivia's got a light on this thing walking in the room. All right. Incoming. Uh, oh, shit. I need I need everyone here to roll initiative. Uh, oh let us in. Let us in. Let us in. Let us out. Let us yeah. in. Someone, someone continue trying to open the door. The rest of us can deal with this. One or two people maybe open the door. 
Okay, I'm dumb, but I, how does initiative Oh, just work? add your dexterity. Uh, Dex. Uh, oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what would you get, Mike? Or what'd you get, uh, Co- uh 13. 13. Okay. Uh, what'd you get, uh, Olivia? 14. 14. That is the devil's number today. Y'all, y'all get 14 every time. Uh, what about, uh, you, um, Phoenix? 15. 15. We're going up in numbers here. Okay. And then what about, uh, Michael? Uh, I'm also 15. God damn, you guys are uh, annihilating it today here. I got a 14. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Gee, you, guys, you guys are doing pretty good here today. Okay. So let me go ahead and get that settled here. Um, all right. So it's, Top here, I have. Um, top of it, I have. Uh, what did you say? What did you say? Michael got a fourteen, was it, Donna? I got a fifteen. Fifteen, okay. okay. <laughs> I got to toss it to you. <laughs> and I think it was uh, then. Uh, Clary said so you got a fourteen. Yeah, okay. again. Okay. It's All like right. my third fourteen. Yeah, it's, it's, this not game, it's not bad. It's not bad. I think. Okay. I got the top of the initiative, uh, Michael. Uh, you hear you 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 hear Olivia screaming. Uh, you go, Michael, Michael, and you look back and you can see this kind of thing walking into the room uh, with these like these like giant rubber ropes coming out of its head. There's like there's probably like you're not sure how many there are, but there's at least like a dozen of them coming out of its head. Uh, they're pretty lengthy too. Like they're almost some of them are kind of dragging along it, um, and uh, you're not really sure what's on the end of them, but they have stuff on the end of them. Uh, but yeah, that's what you see. Uh, what do you want to do here, Michael? And the uh, thing's, the thing's gonna, like 20 meters away from you. It's pretty. It's on the other side of the room. Uh, I want to grab my rifle and from Koa and fire. Okay, you grab the rifle from Koa and you, you bring up arms and you start firing at it. Okay, uh, you're going to need a, a penalty to hit there because you are you are ranged with the rifle. But uh, go ahead and roll an attack with the rifle. So you have a, I think it's a minus two to hit with the rifle at the range. Oh, God. Nine, 12, 13, 14. So minus three is 11. Uh, minus two is fine, but yeah. Um, 12, 12 to hit? 12. Okay. All right, your, your shots ring out. You guys hear the shots ring out. And the um, attacks do strike the thing. Uh, roll damage for the rifle. Should be on your sheet there. All right. Nice. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Okay, cool. So your shots ring out at it, and uh, they seem to like just like go ping, 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 ping off, off of the, the surface of this thing. Um, yeah. That would be your turn. Next up, we have Phoenix. I'm going to t- uh, tap back on the door. Not safe. Okay. And- <laughs> that's going to be your whole turn is tapping back. It rounds for 15 seconds. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So you go ahead and um, you you take a, you take a second here. Actually, the right, rifle is a short range shit. I didn't realize Raps Rap had a bigger range this game. Okay. Um, so you go ahead and you, uh, you, you start tapping that it's not safe and uh, everything. Okay. Good move. Open up. Let it, it said open up. Let it yeah, I was going to say. Right. Let it <laughs> um, Olivia, this thing's maybe like um, four meters from where you're standing. It's not very far from you. Uh, what do you want to do? Um, I'm going to, I'd like to move away from it uh, back towards the door uh, that they're trying to. Okay, so you move uh, further back in the room. Okay. Take a few steps back. back. Yeah, I'll take a few. I'll take a few steps back and I'd like to. Real, uh, just real quick, grab something organic from the sleeping bag. Okay, pile of gore. <laughs> yep, just like a leg, just a foot, uh, okay. like a, something like that. Okay. Because I'd like to. Um, I don't think I can do it this turn, yeah. but I'd like to throw it at okay. right. thing just to see you how find, it responds. You find a piece of body part and you, you get ready to, yeah. to, to yeet it at yeah. this thing. Okay, fair enough. Okay. That seems like eat. a. Yes, ready to yeet. All right, um, that would be now Titania. So you're standing there outside at the back door. Uh, you can see things doing Morse code on the door. Uh, you see Michael's like shooting this thing and you see like uh, Olivia's going through like the, the sleeping bag and looking for stuff. Uh, what do you want to do? Um, definitely back up. Okay, you're back against the wall now. <laughs> at this point, like what I, am I just not going to realize that my pistol has no bullets until I you try to no fire idea, it? You have no idea because you don't have pistols of skill, so you don't know guns. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. I guess I'll, I guess I'll do that just so okay. I can m- figure out that All I right. don't have bullets. Uh, yeah. And when that Make happens, sure. I 
think I would definitely say something to Michael yeah. and be like, hello. Do you pull, got okay, spares? You, like, you, you pull the gun. Safety. You, you, you squeeze the trigger. Nothing happens. It's click, click, click. And uh, Michael seems, I don't know what Michael's reaction is to being asked for bullets, but we'll let it, we'll let it figure out. All right. And then next up we have is Koa. Koa, you're in the back of the room there with the rest of the crew. Uh, uh, okay. Um, uh, Koa's just going to, I mean, I'm going to turn and I'm going to take the pistol out. I'm going to okay. aim and fire at it. So okay. I want to aim you, minor accent. Uh, fire. You can, do you have, wait, do you have, uh, you would need to, uh, you need a, you need a minor action to pull the weapon and then you have to have a minor action to aim. Uh, the weapon. So you can gotcha, aim this gotcha. turn and then do it, or you can fire this turn. I'm just gonna fire. All right, give, me, give me a shot here. We got, we got pretty okay. good chance to hit. Plus four hits. Plus yeah. Solid. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so I got seventeen. Seventeen hit. Hits no problem. Uh, you two okay. six plus two damage. All right. Let's see how you do here. Okay. Eight plus two ten. Ten damage. Okay. Your shot rings out to it. Um, you see, uh, part of your shots go into like the rope section of it, and it seems like one of the ropes kind of falls off, and kind of just like it kind of like says or like flops on the ground and stops. Okay. So your shot does ring out uh, at it and does strike it. Okay, it is its turn. Um, it takes some steps over uh, to uh, Olivia, and you guys, ah. you guys see it's like um, the the various like rubber ropes start flailing around, and like they start like sifting out trying to like, grab things off the ground, but also including you, Olivia. So the ropes start like trying to lash out at you. Um, they oh, lashed out at you, Olivia, and they got a 12 to hit. I don't know what Olivia's defense is. Oh, it's a 12. So a 12 does strike okay. you. So they, the ropes kind of lash out. Um, you feel them lash up and kind of like whip across your uh, back suit. And you take a whopping, uh, there'll be six points of damage. So you oh. subtract so that from your toughness, which is three. So you only take three damage. Okay. But you Still. do feel you do feel the um, the ropes kind of like flash across your um, your uh, back suit. Uh, your back suit comes up telling you that it's been compromised. Oh, oh! But you are in a breathable atmosphere. Breathable, so, breathable. Um, Currently, all right. yeah. Breathable. So you can, you can kind of hear a hiss now over your um, your your uh, your suit here. Okay, uh, goes to back around to Michael. Michael, you're in the, the room there. What do you want to do? Um, when that thing moves towards Olivia, I want to like rush it and try to like knock it over or stop it or something right. like that. You can you can do a charge, and if you can get the unarmed combat, you might be able to get a knock over. So yeah, go ahead and do unarmed combat uh, charge. Uh, you get an additional plus two to hit on this because you're uh, you're charging. Okay. You also you also have a penalty uh, to be hit too. Six, so nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You said a plus two. Yep, extra plus two. So that's sixteen. Oh, yeah, no problem. You gain doubles on that. Uh, no. You want to burn any fortune, make a double? Yes. Okay. Which, what was your lowest number you had on there? Uh, two. I'm going to take it to a three. Okay, so that's three that fortune. Work? All right. Yeah. And how, how, what does that give you on the drama die then? Uh, then that gives me a three. Three? Okay, cool. So, uh, can I do, uh, yeah, I want to, uh, a blockade. I'm going to do blockade. Okay. So you basically move up and, uh, they have to, um, uh, go through you to get to the other person. Okay. So you, right. yeah, so you move you move in and you kind of move um, in between Olivia and the ropes here to try to take the shot here or make them uh, have to go through you. Okay. So you go and you nice. take that off. Can nice. I roll damage on this? Oh, yeah. You also get that too. Yeah. Okay. Um, so go ahead so that's and. Three, uh, four, five. E3 plus two. That's only seven. E3 plus two. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not enough. You go up and you, 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 you kind of shoulder, you kind of move in and kind of shoulder block it, but it's not enough to actually like penetrate its armor whatsoever. And you can feel like your metal, the metal, metallic parts of your skin hit it, and it's it's about as hard as if you, any of you are hitting your life. All right, next up we have Phoenix. Well, I'm done uh, typing my message to them, so I'll take that piece of metal and throw it at the beast, not intending to hit it, but shoot or pull my rifle or my pistol right. and shoot at it. All right, uh, you drop the, you kind of throw the, the metal over across the room. You draw your pistol. Uh, yeah, I'll give you that. You can take a shot at it or aim the turn your choice. Um, shot. Yeah, I'll take the shot. Take the shot. All right, you got a plus uh, two to hit. Hey, that's not right. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Uh, fourteen. Fourteen hits. No problem. Got it. Yeah. Give me the damage on that. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter. We got unless you got doubles. Okay. But does not the churn. 
<laughs> oh. down uh, nine points of damage. Nine points of damage. Okay, yeah. your, your shot does hit it, and it seems to like kind of ding it around in one of the joints, but like it seems not to really care. Um, all right, goes to Olivia. Olivia, uh, you have Michael between you and the thing as its ropes kind of flail around you. You felt the lash of the of the ropes. Uh, what mm-hmm. do you want to do? I'm gonna throw the the organic meat I had at the like rubbery parts. Okay. The the like. Okay. Flailing around. All right. Um, no roll. You just kind of toss them out there. Um, as you do, the rubbery parts grab it out of midair, and they start like um, uh, they seem to kind of push it off underneath the thing. And like it's it's not really sure what they're doing there, but it seems to be kind of like the best way to describe it. It's kind of swirling it around the ground, mm-hmm. almost like it's grinding it up against the ground. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay. This explains some of the. The injuries that I feel like I've seen. All right. Yeah. Um, All right. The that, injuries that are going to happen to us. <laughs> you have a minor action still if you want to do something minor. Um, like that could be moving away from it because now that you have a Michael between you and it, or you could uh, try to draw your weapon. You could. Um... I'm going to. I think I'm going to draw my weapon. Right. You draw your weapon. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Yeah. And I'm just like, shoot. Uh, All right. I need that. That leg. I want to take that ins- that metallic insect leg. Okay. <laughs> uh, Titania, your turn. Uh, your gun is empty, and yeah. you were saying there, there's Michael and all these people heroing it up. Uh, you can see that like uh, Phoenix kind of stopped doing the the Morse code to whoever was in the room. Um, but what do you want to do? Um, I mean, I don't know. I I guess like if asking what? anybody for bullets fucking doesn't work then i don't know <laughs> they, okay, so you ask, you ask uh, the nearest person to you would be phoenix and uh and uh koa uh do any of you want to get uh give her rounds or gun with bullets yeah, in if it i have an extra clip or whatever for the sure. pistol yeah. All right, yeah, you pull I, s- I tell her, I tell her, run. I'm like, run. Okay, all right. <laughs> so, which one do you want to do, Tiana? Do you want to run, or do you want to grab the extra bullets from uh, Phoenix? Oh, uh, I'm grabbing the bullets for sure. All right, all right you got the bullets. I have no other. And you, you manage to, so you fumble around and load the gun, and that's going to your turn. All right. Okay. Um, goes to Koa. All right, now, uh, now I want to aim and shoot. Okay. Because I know I want to <laughs> shoot one of the ropes. Kind of rope it since okay, I knew right, it kind of did. Okay, you get the six double yeah. points where you can do it. Yeah, well, plus two to hit. Okay, all right. So, so plus six total. Right. Oh yes, I got two sixes. Okay, Ooh. so I got. I'll hit. Um, That'll hit for sure. Yeah, seventeen six on the drama plus the yeah. Okay, so okay. that hits. Uh, so how yeah, many step points do I get from that? Whatever your drama die is. Oh six. Okay. Yeah. So you can right. do. I mean, you can do like vicious blow, do more damage. So you can do a second attack on it too. Yeah, I'm going to do the lightning attack. Okay, so lightning attack and vicious blow. So why don't we do the vicious blow first? Okay, um, so, so get so roll do, damage. Yeah, so you'll do an extra d6 on top of whatever you normally do. So I think it's 3d6 okay. plus your... Plus two, okay. Uh, all right, so that's uh, nine plus 11 total. 11 total, okay. So your shot does ring true. Uh, the shot seems to hit around like the kind of the joints again, kind of cramping its style a little bit, but it's still moving no problem. To do your second attack with lightning attack. Okay. And remember, this cannot generate stun points. Okay. So yeah, that is 15. 15. That hits. Give me the damage. All right. Plus two. D6. Plus two. Uh, seven. Seven. All right. This shot just clips right off its off its armor. Hits in the wrong spot. All right. Okay. That was code. This thing uh, does not care for Michael's attitude. Um, <laughs> so the the ro- this time though, instead of uh, having the ropes. Uh, you can see that, like, from, like, it's, like, underneath its chest where it is, um, another arm appears, and it seems to be, like, a cutting tool and goes to try to stab you. Uh. Michael, let's see here. It got a nine to hit. I believe that misses you. Yeah, you have a uh, 12 defense, defense stab. 12? So the yeah. shot goes out, and you, you manage to dodge out of the way, no problem, um, as the thing tries to stab you. Oh, um, never mind. And you notice, like, its ropes keep on, like, swirling around it, and, like, it's grinding up, like, the sleeping bags and, like, the flesh on the ground and everything. Like, it seems to be, like, just grinding it up. Um, oh. All right. Yeah, so, um, yes, it is uh, now uh, back around. Michael, you're in your toe-to-toe with this thing. Okay, cool. Question for you. Mm-hmm. Um, for the augment here, the dermal reinforcement, yeah. Um, do I add that to what I already it's have already added the in. armor rating? It's already, it's already added, added in. in. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, um, yeah when I much higher top doesn't even pull apart, you'll say. 
Um, I'm going to try to uh, uh, wrestle with uh, one of those ropes mm -hmm. and see if I can't, like... Oh, grapple check. Okay. Just, just grapple. like, grapple it, yeah. Okay. Uh, roll. This would be a uh, grappling test, so this would be just your uh, raw fighting, so plus two to hit. Plus two. All right. Against its grapple, which how good is it grappling? Six. It's not nine, great. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It's strength, right? Yeah. Oh no, it, it's fighting. Fighting. Oh. But I will say that it beat you quite a bit on it. It did roll quite well on grappling. Um, yeah. It got it. It got a uh, seventeen. So. Um, yeah, you go and try to like wrap. It's too hard to grab the ropes. Like they're all over the place. Like it's it's it, they're swirling really fast. Like. Um, it's like trying to grab like a weed whacker. Um, okay. A really thick right. weed whacker. But yeah, that's uh, that's Michael's turn. Unless you want to move away from it or try to do something else or minor action. Um, can I want, yeah, I just want to take a slight move like behind it okay. or what I might think is behind. Gotcha. Gotcha. Since it's reaching toward Olivia, right? So I want to kind of go behind it. Uh, it's reaching towards you now, but yeah. Uh, oh, it's reaching toward me now. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to just like Mission try success. to go around a bit. Yeah. All right. Olivia. I'm oh, sorry. It's Phoenix. Sorry, Phoenix. You're back in the back of the room here. Uh, you can see Michael kind of trying to like rustle this thing. What do you want to do? Well, do I'm gonna look at, What's that? I'm going to look at Michael fighting it, and I'm going to be like, I ain't going to do that shit, and I'm going to shoot again. <laughs> All right, give, give, me a, give me a shot. You want to do an aim action on this one? Uh, Yes. Right, that'll help you prevent you from hitting Michael. So give, me a, give me the roll here. Extra plus two to hit. I got 12 and double threes. 12 and double threes. You will strike nice. it. What was your drama die? Four. Four? Okay. So yeah, you can get the extra damage on it if you want to. Um, you can also do um, another really good one is... Double team. Double team's cool too. Right. Yeah, double team. You can have one of your buddies take a shot, take an attack against it, try to have uh, Michael's follow-up. So you can do both of those with the four yeah, star Yeah, I would like to do that. Right, yeah, do, I'll your, do, the do your extra damage real quick. So roll the 3d6 and add that to it. Let's see, 10, 15. 15, that's, oh, that's pretty good. So yeah, your your shot actually hits it pretty dead on here. Uh, who do you want to give the extra attack to? You want to give it to Michael? You want to give, it, give it to, to Michael, Michael since he would okay. be closest. Mm -hmm. Michael, so, uh, so Michael, so sorry, you, you were sitting there wrestling with it and the thing gets slightly distracted as it's by the shot rung out. Uh, you can try to grapple it again. You can try to like stock it. What do you want? I mean, I don't know what you want to do. You're trying to tip it over. Yeah, I'm going to just try to like hit it in some way to see if it like, there's not like we can't see like a um, eyes or just like anything. Nothing you can discern. Um, it's it's also hard to make out because like the ropes just keep us swinging really fast in front of. Right, them. and so we're having to like yeah, do that. Just yeah. Just um, let's see. I've got brawling. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Punch it? Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to All punch right. it. All right, you can try to punch it out. So give me the uh, attack roll with the punch, with the unarmed attack. Plus four. Right. There's an off, an off button. Just Here we go. <laughs> Six, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 hits no problem. You got any doubles in there? Uh, I did not. Okay. All right. Uh, so you do your D3 plus 2 damage to it. Okay. So we have to... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, so D3 plus uh, 2 damage. 1 yeah. D3. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Plus 2. Wait, what? It, your, your unarmed damage is 1 D3 plus 2. Oh, 1 D3. Okay, yeah. 6, 7, 8. 8. Okay, so you roll a 6. Yes. So that's a three because it's D three. D three. Yeah. yeah. So it's, okay. So five. Uh, so five damage. Yeah. You go up. You you punch it. D it your hands are not penetrating this thing without like a proper strike. Uh, okay. it, it is a rock solid, but uh, you do keep its attention. I will say that for sure. Uh, all right. Goes to Olivia. Olivia. Um. You're not. Too, you're about midway between it. You can see uh, Michael's between you and it as Michael's trying to punch this thing out. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to use my rifle uh, to. Uh, sure. At this thing, right. you aim and take a shot to make sure you don't hit you don't hit Michael. All right, go for it. So you actually plus two your uh, attack roll on this. So you're at a plus six to hit. It's pretty good. Let's see how you do here. Uh, uh, that is a nineteen. Not even a problem to hit. Any doubles? Uh, unfortunately, no. no right. So three d six plus two damage. That's three d six. I think uh, you can do it here. I think you can pull this off. Mm -hmm. I believe. Uh, 14 damage. 14 damage. Yeah. Uh, your, your your shot rings out and it hits this thing and it just like, uh, it, it penetrates the side of it where it's kind of opened up a little bit and it just kind of collapses on the ground and like you kind of see it kind of like ooh, fall apart as like a, a leg comes flying off of it. Some of the ropes come flying off of it as well. Oh my God. Nothing, nothing like Martian training, I tell you. Let's see. <laughs> 
Maybe one of us should go cut those things off of the top of it, just so they don't. If it comes back, it doesn't start attacking. What the hell? The we hell was that, that thing? thing? Fully, fully gone. Right. But yeah, this oh, thing collapses, like and you can see it's the same color as like the other parts of the metal yeah. scrap you've seen in the room. Yeah. yeah. So now it's turning that brown, right? Yeah. The. Well, it has been brown. Yeah. It's it's a kind of brownish oh. color. Yeah. That brown, dark, really dark color. Yeah. I'll also right, go so back to the door and start okay. tapping safe again. Okay. Yeah, time to time to come um, out. Open up. She uh, <laughs> she you kind of get a moment. Nothing comes back on their side. Just, can we type out or Morse code out? Killed it. Uh, about a minute passes and it comes back and you go sure. Positive. What, what do you mean sure? <laughs> okay. Can I hit it with its own leg? Yeah, you can, like try to impale oh it if you want to. Yeah, sure. Maybe we should yeah. just put bullets into that thing. Okay. Um, I don't want to waste bullets. <laughs> I just want to. Now, now I'll hand a, a Tatiana a, a, clip, okay. a clip. A clip. A clip. Yeah, yeah, you, you, yeah, you have your. Show her how to load you. it. You yeah, know, nice show her how to load it. Yeah, I see. You have a you have a real pistol. Um, Appreciate it. The the it takes a little bit of time here, uh, Phoenix and Olivia, but the door eventually kind of opens up and you see this like covered in kind of like dried blood. Uh, you can see this woman, uh, we identify as Kaylee. You remember seeing a picture of her in like the crew manifest? And she's like, what, what, what are we, uh, you got it? You, another one came? Did you just run here? She's like crying. She's like really scared. And you can see that inside the room is like tons of crates, wolf, like food, supplies, uh, stacked up pretty big. Um, you can also see that parts of the wires of that room have also been like taken off, like been removed and everything and broken. Grab what you need. It's time to get out of here. Yeah, let's She's get like, out of here. Did anybody's yeah. suit get cut? Yeah, you saw that uh, Olivia's suit got oh. cut. Oh. Can I catch yeah. yeah, I was going to say, it's, uh, it started like yeah, engineering it, or it's passion a, or else. It's, it's not a hard thing. You patch it pretty okay. easily. Um, everyone here's got experience passion, kid. Passion, and all the suits yeah, have, have stuff with them. Um, you, Koa. um, what's up? I just said appreciate it, Koa. Yeah. She, she's going like, look, like they haven't gotten into that room. I don't think they know I'm here. Look, I, uh, she's like freaking out a little bit. She's like, no, you can tell, um, give me a, let me go with, uh, let's go with Titiana. Titiana. Uh, do an empathy test. You actually get to re-roll these. So, after, uh, so this will be uh, perception. Okay. Let's see what you get here. You got Four, 14. 14. Again. Hey, it's, it's, the number works. Um, you can tell that she's like in shock. Uh, you can tell she's been like in, hunkered down here for a little while, for a few days at least. Um, she's been fed, uh, probably hasn't slept. But you can tell she's okay. in like not in great shape, and she's kind of freaking out. She, she might need some help to get persuaded to go. Yeah. Um, okay. So I think like while still recording, Gaz just kind of like puts her <laughs> uh, hand terminal. Gaz? Or, not Gaz. Not yeah, Gaz. I'm Gaz, so sorry. Gaz. It's Yana. Um, <laughs> puts her hand terminal like in her okay. like you know a pocket, pocket or whatever. Show, yeah. So it's still it's still recording, but it's not like obtrusive yeah. and in her hand and in people's faces. Um, and I think she kind of like without, you know, physically like reaching out towards this person kind of like gets as close to on their okay. level as she can okay. and is like, hey, um, I cannot even imagine what you have been through, but I promise we are not here to hurt you. And we are just trying to get all of us out of here in one piece, including you. Uh, it would be great if you came with us. Uh, we've got everything you could possibly need on the ship, and you know we'll get you wherever you need to go. Give me a persuasion test. You got plus okay. six. You got pretty high roll here. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm a persuasive. Uh, yeah, you're you're no people like. All you. right, I got a six on the drama die. Oh, that's good. Eighteen. Eighteen. Very nice. Yeah. So not a problem. So yeah, she kind of goes. She looks at you in the eyes the moment she goes. Okay, look, um, I need a suit though. I, I, uh, I, what's left? And she kind of, she goes over like the stuff where like you guys are kind of piled the bodies and starts trying to find like pieces. Like she has a suit on. Um, yeah. But she goes up and she like, she goes and like tries to find a helmet and everything. Um, can I, is there any, like, I mean, like, 
do I see anything around that might help? Like, uh, I mean, might like piles, she's it's looking like, for? It's like pieces of what they brought in, and she's just trying to right. find like a leftover helmet. So she she doesn't take her very long to find herself okay. a final one. Uh, she does have to kind of like empty it out of, of you know gore or some crap, whatever is smeared around. It does smell pretty bad. Um, yeah. But she's like, she's like, okay. Uh, she sees like the guns you guys have, and she's like, those things don't stop coming, guys. They're they're they don't stop for anything. We 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 killed like one or two. I can't remember, but it got the captain and pulled them apart. <laughs> she's like, starts crying again. You got um, any drugs we can give her for shock, Doc? Uh, no drugs. Shoot her up. Talk. But, um, you do actually have like sedatives and stuff. I mean, you can get. We've got it. We've got adrenaline, so that's. Yeah, I don't know so far. I really want to sedate her before we start moving. That is an option to sedate her and carry her out. I'd. I'd rather I mean, have a fighting body. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Personally. And um, plus, she's dealt with it. Maybe she knew what triggered these things coming in. Yeah. We could get info out of her. Just got to keep her calm. Talk to if you just yeah, if you just keep her calm. I guess. I'm a little bit worried about the airlock situation because that seemed to take a oh, take yeah. a bit of time, and we might be findable during that time. We never know what's on the other side of yeah. the. She's like, yeah, we we were just, well, we were sitting up here, we we had camp, and we were just gonna wait for someone to find us, and those things just showed up out of nowhere. I mean, we should get going because it's only one yeah. one hole, yeah. one way out, one right. way in. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you all did the right thing, but it's time to go now. She's like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. agreed, okay. So you guys start moving back uh, towards the way that you came. The door had sealed up after the, the 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 concert had come through. You guys start making your way down this long hallway, um, the very in, into the octagon room. Uh, you guys can see this kind of uh, the, the smooth glass room. Um, and as you do the uh, as you come through the other side where there was another doorway, you can see that one's open where last you saw it was closed. Uh, I mean, something's I on the other like side. That. Yeah, something came in. Like the Thanks, remember the I mechanics, the mechanics of the door. Yeah, yeah. Maybe um, we should sneak who, up and look. Who's gonna go? Are we gonna have the same marching order? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah why right. not? Let's Michael, in the- I got Michael in the front. Michael, you're you're taking point. Uh, who's who's gonna be kind of accompanying uh, Kaylee? Uh, she seems to trust you the most, Titania. Yeah. Yeah, I think I mean I, I'll I'll go. Yeah. All right, uh, Michael. As you kind of come through, uh, your, your light, uh, you kind of catch something moving in the darkness beyond the door on the other side of the room. Um. All right. I think we. No, so the way we came in is clear. Uh, it's like it's, it's like just a, you can see something on the other side. Of the, it's like the way you came in. There's another tunnel you have to go through, and it uh-huh. like uh, you can see something moving through that tunnel and it, uh, just on the other side of the door of it. It's kind of hard to make out from this distance though. So that that's where we want to go. Is yeah, that direction? Yeah, that's, that's the, the way you guys is. came. Yeah. Fuck it. Let's just keep going. Okay. We'll, we'll, you start, we'll deal with it. You start moving up, and as you do, you can see something moving towards you in the darkness as well. Um, unlike the previous one, you guys messed with that had the ropes. This one does have the ropes, but it seems a lot sleeker, a little bit smaller, and more agile, faster. Um, okay. And as it and as your as your light kind of catches it, it uh, you gotta get a straight shot on. You can see it's more angular. It starts to charge at you, Michael. Um, oh, go, shit. Ahead, go ahead and have your own initiative. Oh, oh my god. Oh boy. Yeah. I don't like that one. Stabby. Woo. Yeah, this okay. one's fast, Six, and, fast 12, and stabby. 15, 16, 18. Okay. Uh, I got 14 this. again. <laughs> 13 right. again. So, you go, who got the highest? I heard a 14. You went above, above 14? Uh, yeah, 16. 18. What'd you get? What, and what'd you get, Olivia? 20. 20? Okay. Yeah. Three sixes. Um, nice. Those six on the drama die. Yeah. Okay. okay cool. Um, give me a second here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so okay, I heard a sixteen. That was from uh, Phoenix. We got the sixteen. Yeah, sixteen. Yeah. 16. sixteen. Okay. Cool. So sixteen to Phoenix. Uh, I heard of. Uh, what'd you get, Olivia? Twenty. Twenty. Oh shit. Okay, you're way Dang. up there. Dang. Nice. Yeah, Olivia's, Olivia's <laughs> got got uh, got some speed. I heard a fourteen from Michael. And uh, me. no, a- eighteen. Oh, eighteen. Damn, you guys are killing it here today. Um, what uh, what'd you get, uh, Titania? Titania, fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. Okay. And then and then thirteen. <laughs> the eight hundredth time. Okay, yeah. thirteen from Koa. 
Okay, cool, cool. So uh, top of the dish of Olivia, um, you 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 see like Michael kind of get startled. Something kind of you hear something kind of moving now, kind of fast. Like it's kind of ch -ch -ch, like chittering sound. that's actually moving. Um, oh. What do you want to do? Uh, and I have you at the back of the um, the marching order here, Olivia. Yep, I am unfortunately all the way at the back. Uh, so I'm going to, I think, um, move move through people okay. to get. Um, to get a good enough shot Go. uh, you move on up, it. And you can take a regular shot. Yeah, so there's a straight shot on it to, to do it. Um, it is slightly in darkness, so this is going to be a small penalty to hit some ice when I hit it, but you can go for it take your shot. Sounds good. So I'm going to try to hit it with my rifle. There you go. We got a plus uh, four, so my, minus one, so plus three to hit. Not and, bad. Uh, total of 16 with that Six, minus one pack. 16 to strike it. You do strike it. Um, give, me, give me damage on that. Um, that is... 3, 6 plus 2. It's pretty good. And, uh, that's 12 damage. 12 damage. Your nice. shot your shot rings out, hits it, it plinks right off its armor. Ooh, that's bad. Nothing. You hear dink. Uh, it's kind of it's loud, the echo and everything. All right. Uh, it goes to uh, Michael Tassand. All right. Well, um, since my rival didn't do much on the other one, I'm just going to go ahead and just like try to tackle it. All right, uh, it is fairly, okay, it's, it's a bit across the room. You're gonna go and do a full charge. Uh, you come across the room and you attempt to uh, tackle it. Uh, this is, are you trying to grapple or just try to push it over? Um, uh, try to grapple it. Grapple it, okay. So this will be a grapple test, a straight uh, fighting test then. So this will be your uh, okay. plus two to do it. What's this thing got? This thing has got- Oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Five, <laughs> oh, six, yeah, I, I doubt seven. it. It got, a, it got a 19. Um, yeah, so you yeah, go yeah. you go up and try to grab it and like it's like um, as you do you notice like like some of its legs seem to start like uh, grabbing onto the wall like it, it, it you're it seems almost like it's like halfway climbing up the wall now and trying to trying to avoid being grappled by you. Okay, uh, goes to Phoenix. Phoenix, you're standing there, uh, middle kind of towards the middle of it um, or towards the front. You can see like Michael's ran across the room. Uh, Olivia's taking shots at it. Um, I got Kaylee here at the bottom too. So, um, what do you want to do? Is there anything on the on the floor in here at all? Like uh, this any? room's like this room's like super smooth. Super smooth. Okay. No real features of it. Yeah. No real cover. Uh, you can take some cover behind the doorway. You guys came through. It's still staying open, but. Um. No, I'm gonna try to shoot it with my pistol. I guess. All right. All right you pull the pistol know. out, and uh, or you, you probably already had it out. So you can do an aim action if yeah. you want to. All right, give me the aim action here uh, to hit. Oh, that's awesome. 12, <laughs> 14, 16. 16 Double, six. Double sixes. All right. So what did you go to drop it out of six? Uh, no, I got a two on it. All right. You can do the extra. You can do the uh, the vicious blow nice. to it if you want to get the extra two damage. Yes. Oh, extra one D6 damage, excuse me. All right. Go so for it. I'll six damage. All right. 10, 15, uh, 16. 16 damage. Your shot rings nice. out, and you manage to kind of clip it on the side where, uh, and that seems to help. That seems to do a little bit better. Um, but yeah, it it does a little bit of damage to it, but not much. Uh, the other one seemed a lot easier to hurt. This one's not going to be quite as easy, it seems. Uh. All right. Uh, goes to uh, Titania. Titania, you're staying there. Kaylee's like holding on to you tighter now that she sees this thing. You can tell she's traumatized from watching what these things have done. Um, yeah. What do you want to do? You want to? Uh, I, I feel like I should get away from it before I get her and me killed. So, you, so like, so you, I can run, you can run back into the chamber you guys came from. You could try to run along the opposite side of the chamber. It's, it's going toward where Michael's trying to distract it, trying to get ahead. Because the only way out is front is, is through it, pretty much, or through the okay. way. Okay. So, yeah. So I guess we'll go around the other okay. way while give he's me, trying to distract it. Give me a persuasion check to see if you can convince Kaylee to come with you. Okay. Carry her, which I don't think you're strong enough to carry I was going to say, I'm going to drag her. I've got a gun now and bullets. Oh, like, so you can, you're coming with me. No, I don't know if threatening kidding. her would work right now. I'm just kidding. Well, I, think that would, I, think, I think this is a honey and vinegar <laughs> situation. So plus six for persuasion. Yeah, I got a 14 plus six. So oh, 20. Yeah, 20, not Yeah. Okay. She's, like, she's like, okay, okay. She's like, she's like, yeah, I trust you. I trust you. And she, you kind of move along the edge of the room. Uh, dodging with her, trying to make sure you stay out of the way of this thing. As you guys come along the edge of the room, you see up ahead in the cavern. Now you guys can see a little bit better. 
Um, there's another construct in the cavern. This one is like the other one that they you guys you saw them kill it earlier, where it's not like as sleek or as fast. It's much more like has the ropes and everything, and it okay. seems to be like whipping the floor as it walks around. Oh God. Um... That's all you see as you get to the end of your movement and dodge it around. So I'm going to give you the dodge. You guys are defensive this turn. You got an extra two to your defense, so you're hard to hit. All okay. right, moves to uh, the, dr- the the construct that Michael's messing with. Uh, this thing does not care for uh, Michael. So it's going to actually, um, <laughs> the first thing it does is the ropes kind of whip out at you, Michael, uh-huh. um, as it has the, it has a kind of functionality. The ropes, you, you've messed with this before. You're kind of easy to dodge them. However, though, it seems to protrude out like a much larger blade out of its center mass, which it misses with horribly. And you just kind of oh. dance on it. Um, <laughs> You're kind of oh just dancing God. on this thing as like the blade kind of whips out, and uh, uh, it kind of reminds you back of your early time in the uh, kind of knife fighting practice back in the Martian Marine Corps. All right, uh, the thing down the hallway kind of moves in the room, and it seems to be like slowly moving to the room. Um, it goes to the opposite side, and it seems to be going towards Titania and Kaylee, but it's moving very sluggishly. It's not like able to rope in uh, rope you guys. Um, however, one of the ropes does kind of come close to Michael. It's getting hit. Michael, the rope uh, whips out at you and does not hit you. Oh my God. You are way too good at this. All right, Koa. Uh, Koa is going to move up behind uh, Olivia, but I guess I see um, Titania and Kaylee running yeah, up. So I'm gonna tr- yeah, I'm going to go up there and I'm going to aim at that one and shoot. With the- so if you move, you can't <laughs> aim this turn. <laughs> oh, oh, right. So I could just move and fire. Yeah, move and fire. Okay, right, okay yeah, it. I'll move and fire. So are you firing at, to- the, at the one that Michael's tangling with or the one that just walked in the room? The one that walked to okay, try to clear that path. Right. You got yeah. it. So give me a yeah. shot at it. All right, plus four. You can do it. Yeah, you, I know, right? You believe uh, in you. 10, 13. 13 hit, hits it, no problem. Give me Oh, a, yeah. Give me damage. It's that one. Okay, 2D plus 2, 6. All right, uh, 11, 13. 13 damage. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, your shot rings out, and you, you clip it. Um, You can see you definitely have its attention now. It's going to move start moving towards that part of the room. But, um, mm-hmm. yeah, you see, like, some of a... Uh, you see a little ding happen, a little dent in the side of its uh, armor. All right, moving on. It's, uh, Kaylee keeps with you, oh. uh, Titania. So she's like, she's like, just yeah, we're gonna be safe. We're gonna make it out of here. Okay, okay. She's like, she's like talking to herself and I'll try to convince herself to keep on going. Um, yeah, actually, maybe I want to roll for her willpower. Yeah, it's gonna. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah, she actually starts cracking under the pressure. It's gonna be another persuasion check to keep her moving with you next turn. Okay, okay. Um, Olivia, uh, you're up there. You took some shots at it. You're you and Phoenix are the ones in the back of the room firing this thing. You can see one starting kind of like one's kind of blocking the passageway. Michael's like going off and tangling with the other one. What do you want to do? Um, this is Olivia. Oh, and my uh, my shot didn't do much last time. That wasn't a great shot. You've done better, but. <laughs> Um, can I, uh, can I fire at the, like, exposed rubbery parts? Of yeah, you, want to try to do, you can try to do a cult shot, yeah. That's the, you yeah. have to pull up stuff points to do that, though, but you can do it, yeah. Oh, and which one are you firing I... at? Are you firing at the one that Michael, like, the one that's fighting Michael's trying to climb the wall, or the one that's on the ground? The, the I think big... the one that's on the ground. Okay, all right, go for it. So give me a shot with the, do you want to aim, or do you want to move in and, and then attack, or how do you want to do this? Um, let's see. I think I have something called tactical awareness. Yeah, that lets you that lets you move before and after and during your shot. So you can do that. Yeah, you can just take a shot. It's not a big deal. Uh, I think. That. Yeah, I'll just move right. into a All better right. position within Wait, the crowd. Give me, a, but... give me a shot. Roll your roll your tactical with your uh, rifle. Uh, fourteen. Fourteen strikes it. Not, the thing is not that hard. It's it's, it's kind of squat. Uh, like yeah. I said, it's like a soda machine. <laughs> that's not hard to hit this range. Um, but yeah, you strike and give me the damage, so that's going to be uh, 3, 6, plus 2. Uh, uh, that is 6 total damage, but I rolled um, Snake it Eyes. You, you, don't, you don't get stunts on damage rolls, yeah. Um, but yeah, so yeah, your, your shot pings off it. Man, I'm sorry. I, don't, I feel like you have one of like, the heaviest weapons in the game and you can't roll damage with it. <laughs> How the dice tell the story, my friends. Um, all right. Cool. Next up, we have Michael. Michael, you are going toe to toe with this thing. Um, what do you want to do with it? I mean, you definitely have it, you definitely have its attention. Um, I want to just try to grab one of its legs that's on the wall and pull down. All right, you want to try to grapple it again? All right, go for it. Give me the grapple test. 
So you have a plus two to this? Uh, six, Damn. 10, 12, 13, 14. 14. It rolled on its base dice at 15 plus its fighting ability. It, it, you cannot pull this thing off. It seems to be just clinging to the walls. Like it's almost built to do this, it feels like. I'm like holding on to this ah, thing. I'm trying to grab it. Okay. All right, Michael, uh, go to Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix, uh, you're at the back of the room. You're the only person still in the back of the room. Well, I'm not going to be there no more. I'm going to start running. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. What do you want to? Um, what do you want to do? Uh, I would like to move as far as I can. You can do a whole. You can do a whole ass run across the room if you want to. Not shoot this turn. Yeah, I okay. want to do that. All right. You run over. You run over as far as you can in the room. Um, you stay outside the range of the ropes of the of the one the squat one coming in. Um, but mm-hmm. that's your whole turn. But yeah, um, you also could dodge if you want to, then move in the room. There's that, but it's up to you. But you yeah. don't get that far. So just full on move? Yeah, just full right. on move. You, you, you haul ass, okay. You buy, you get past Titania and Kali, no problem. Uh, speaking of which, Titania, yeah, Kali is starting to freak out again. Uh, you can persuade her, you can go and try to attack the thing, you can. Yeah, uh, I'm definitely going to persuade her. Like, well, <laughs> eat her. Go- uh, I'm definitely going to try to persuade her and be like, you know, listen, I know you're freaking out. I'm freaking out too, but you've made it this far and, you know, we don't want that to all be for nothing. So just hold it together for me and, you know, hold your breath. Just, you know, center yourself. We can do this. Uh, and I, uh, you know, I, bl- I believe in you. <laughs> okay. All right. So give her a persuasion check so you can keep her, keep her right. motivated here. All right. All right. I told you the persuasion would come in handy. Okay, yeah, I got, totally. I got two sixes oh, that's good. and yeah. three, um, and then plus six. So that's what okay. fifteen plus six. So that's you, I'm gonna, soft. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna let you, you kind of like motivate her, and you, you kind of start persuading. And everybody else kind of hears you talking to them as well, and you Go can. Team. Um, everybody, <laughs> this turn is gonna get one free stop point. Yes, uh, I'll, I'm gonna say for this for this bonus, you grant some stuff points to everybody in the team, um, so That's they can huge. help. Uh, they can help uh, get through. It. And you see the kid is like, yeah, no, I can do this, and sh- and she gets ready to start moving along with you in here and the like. All Yay, right, um, I did it, Michael. <laughs> uh, you're tangled this thing. It does not care for your attitude. It attempts to um, <laughs> it, it attempts to uh, entangle you with the ropes now, trying to grapple you back. Uh, oh. So make make a make a fighting test there, Michael. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can get an actual grapple test on here. You gotta beat a yeah. 13. 13. Okay. Six. Six. That's pretty good. One. That's 13. 15. 15. Okay. Damn. Yeah, you managed to avoid his grapple as the ropes. Uh, you guys just can't seem to get a handle on it. However, while the ropes like whip around, you see that knife come, you see that blade come back out trying to stab you. It does okay. not stab you. Uh, you guys just like. You gotta wow. really just, like fight like this, like just slapping each other. <laughs> like it's really yeah, bad. Yeah, it's an interstellar yeah. fl- slap fight. Keep distracting him, Michael. Yeah. We'll just yeah. run past. Yeah, old, yeah. I like how we got this like future soldier and we got this alien technology and they can't do shit to each other. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Um, but all right. Um, all right. The the one drone that has the, it kind of moves up and it sees, uh, it can detect that you're really close to it. Phoenix, and it tries to like move, it moves, takes a step forward to, towards you and the ropes try to whip you. Uh, well, it was pretty good. Uh, it got a whopping, uh, I think it's a 13 to hit you, Phoenix. I think that does hit you. Uh, yeah, no, mine's 14. Oh, 14. Oh, oh. Misses. okay. So the ropes just like whip past you, um, as you kind of like, you, you kind of like, you know, oh, yeah. you like do this like double dutch me. around it and everything. Um, you know, <laughs> hop in, hop it off. But, but, Stormtrooper yeah. aim. Let's yes. go. <laughs> uh, Koa, it's your turn. Um, okay. I am going to. I'm in. Where am I? In, I'm behind. Um, yeah, you're right Kaylee. behind Callie and Titania. Callie. Yeah, okay, you're, I'm you're gonna, there with Olivia. You guys are all kind of uh, grouped up. Where um, I'm going to say, um, we're going to try to. We're just going to go through, you know. So I'm just going to go ahead to where Phoenix is while firing at okay. that. All right, take your shot. One. All right, so that's and I got one stun point to burn if I you need got, it. Right? You get okay. to spend a stun point no matter what. Yeah. All right, awesome. Okay, so that's nine, eleven plus four. Yeah, fifteen. Fifteen hits. That hits. You use the no one, doubles on that. Yeah, yeah the stun point you can use to either like move a little further, or you could use it to try to like up your defense for the turn. Yeah, I'm gonna do the duck and weave. I okay, think duck and weave is gonna move. All right, how much damage yeah, do you do this thing? Okay, uh, that is eleven. Ooh, baby, that's pretty solid. All right, you do it. Yeah, your shots start ringing at it. Um, you start denting it up. You can tell that like this, this like the soda machine size one. The other one's a little sleeker. It's more the size of like um, like half a soda machine. 
Uh, that's what that's our units of measurement. Yes, I am American. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. measure everything but in meters. Uh, so, um, you, you um, uh, the other one you can tell is more combative. Like it's a much more built for like combat. This one's much more just like you're pretty sure it's like the mop, mm. and you're fighting. You're getting beat up by the mop. <laughs> um, all right. But you do yeah, the, Roomba, the Roomba's kicking us. Roomba, right, yeah, kicking it, our it, ass. Yeah. it is a it is a soda machine sized Roomba. Yes, uh, it's like a Zamboni. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, the, the, uh, Callie keeps on going. She's like, she's like, you guys are so. It's just. Oh. It's like, she keeps on looking at Michael. Like, it's like, holy shit! Like, Michael's like, what the hell are they doing? Like, why are they trying to fight this thing in melee combat? Like, she's like, is that one suicidal? What the hell's going on? <laughs> like, um, they got a death <laughs> wish or something. Like All right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia, uh, you're there with the group of, of Callie, Titania, um, as they're moving. You can see that both Koa and Phoenix are trying to like try to create a line against it, preventing it from moving forward. Um, you do see a small sliver where you think you could slip out of the room if you want to. Well, then that would um, be leaving your friends behind. Yeah, I'm not going to slip out of the room until I have my friends with me. Um, can I push like Titania and Kaylee towards the slip in the room? Um, you can direct them, yeah, and give them, uh, if you want to grant, if you want to use your crew bonus and then also the stuff points, you can actually grant them evasion so they have a chance to slip through a little bit better. That'll, nice. that'll make them That's harder to hit. I'm... Okay, so you kind of direct them and Thanks. give them some directions. Um, <laughs> yep. that'll be your major action, give them directions. Uh, yep. you could set this turn and aim this turn to do a shot next turn or, um, move a little bit further or get to the front line with the rest of you guys. Uh, what sounds good to you? I'll get to the front line with uh, the rest of right. my folks. So I got I got Koa, Phoenix, and um, Olivia creating a, creating a line trying to make sure that both Titania and Kaylee can get out of the room. Okay, Michael. I'm gonna tell, I'm oh, gonna tell Koa like this is like this thing's in this structure is like immune system almost. It's cleaning up things it doesn't recognize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We just, uh, we got it. Yeah, it's uh, I think it's awake. And it's uh, we're the yeah. we're we're the virus. Yeah, right. We need not to get a, out. Not a bad not a bad approach. All right, Michael. Uh, you and your uh, immortal battle uh, are here. What yeah. do you want to do? You can see the other line. Like, like they're trying to get out of the room. Uh, you're sitting there going toe to toe with this thing. Maybe maybe for um, once you found a worthy opponent. Badass. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So is there anybody else that's badass. still in like combat of this, or is like everybody uh, kind no, of moved on? The, right now, Koa. Um, Phoenix and uh, Olivia are all kind of like in melee with the other one with their guns ready to start shooting up and tearing up as close range as they can go. Um, but the other one, this one that you're messing with is definitely has has eyes for you. Um, all right. Um, oh. Oh. I'm actually going to try. Um, I, I'd like to try to actually like let go and run towards them. Oh, you can, can run. Do that with that? Yeah, you can just yeah. move over towards them, no problem. Yeah, that's yeah. that's actually the minor action they're so close to you right now. So you, minor action, you, you get right next to the rest of the group, uh, creating a okay. blockade, trying to keep the other the other drone from like blocking off the little pathway that right. you, right, that's right. opened yeah. up. Uh, you have yep. a major action. You can still do an attack against that that maintenance one. You can shoot back at the other one. What sounds good to you? Um, is the other one attacking everybody at all? Yeah, it's, it's taking some. Who's, who's, it's taking some whip ropes at the uh, at Phoenix and everything. It's not been doing great, but okay. It's yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna as yeah. I move that way, I want to just bring out my pistol and start shooting it. Okay, you want to use a pistol, not the rifle? Um, uh, well, I can Ooh. use rifles. Yeah, I was like, you got the rifle there. All right, take your shot yeah. at it with the rifle. So, uh, yeah, just roll a rifle shot at the uh, the what we call the maintenance construct. All right, six. The janitor. 10, this is a janitor. 15, 16, 17. Yeah. Uh, I got 18. That'll hit. Eight doubles? No doubles. No okay. doubles. Let a, let a robot clean. Um, you, yeah. And you can use a stump point if you want to to basically make yourself harder to hit this turn. Uh, um, yeah, I'm okay. going gonna, gonna to hit the, the duck and weave. Okay, so get, roll the 3d6 damage with the bonus on that for your your damage on the uh, the rifle and see, which, see if you can get to it. All right. Three, so six, that's plus one. 5, 8, 10. Plus 1, 11. 11. All right, that one you hit, you 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 hit it and you dented it pretty strong. Um, and you can see parts of the inside of it are opened up now. It looks like it's not doing too well, uh, but it's okay. still the ropes are still swinging. All right, okay. uh, Phoenix, your turn. No, nah, I'm gonna shoot at it again. All right, give me the shot. Somebody, what did you Fifteen. Get? Fifteen hits, no problem. Two d six plus uh, whatever your uh, bonus is. 
Uh, 11. 11 damage. Okay, your shot rings out and it catches it right into that interior part that it got opened up by the rifle. And as you do, you see the, the, the swinging ropes start to slow down as it just kind of tumbles over um, on the ground. And like, you can see the ropes kind of twitching a little bit here. There's like, what's really weird is the end of the ropes have like various different types of bits, like the little metal bits for like, like burrs or like scrapers and stuff like that. It's really weird shape <laughs> stuff. But yeah, you do wipe it out. Um, it, it kills over uh, as a kind of death throws out. Uh, nice. Good news, Titania. You and Kaylee now have a much clearer path out of this place. Hell yeah. You sort of I think... haul ass or... Yeah, we're hauling right. ass. We're running. You, you start like running hell. as fast as you can down the hallway, this black and 50 meter hallway. Um, you can see some of the glow in the dark paint that they painted on the walls earlier where the spray paint was, the reflective paint. Okay. But you guys keep on moving. Uh, Kaylee, you can hear Kaylee like over the comms going, we're going to get out of here. We're going to get out of here. All right, go to the security drone. The security drone uh, does not care for any of this. I think they're gonna, let's see who they're gonna go after. Okay, that'll be nice. Um, <laughs> the, the thing, you see the thing like move over the ceiling and like it's now on the ceiling of the room and you can see the ropes of it whipping down and they mm. whip it, the ropes whip at you, uh, Phoenix. Oh, wow. uh, oh baby, Phoenix, uh, they got a 15 to hit. I think that hits you, right? That hits. All right, the ropes do. Uh, you take five damage. So subtract your toughness, which I think is pretty decent. So two, so you take three uh, damage. Um, you, uh, yeah, you feel you, you feel the hit and uh, you hear that, you feel that kind of lash around your persons. Um, you then see the um, the knife come out like from the ceiling and it goes after, ooh, it goes after Olivia. Uh-oh. No. Olivia, uh -oh. the knife comes down and it got a whopping Where's the bonus to hit? There it is. Oh, yeah, it got a uh, 16 to hit. I think they hit you. Oh. Olivia? Yeah? You okay there? You waiting right. for it? You waiting for how bad yeah. it's going to be? Okay. Um, Olivia, you take uh, you take four damage. So, so track your toughness, which is three. You take one point of damage. Phew. So, not that bad. Pretty pretty minor. All right. Goes to uh, Koa. This thing's on the ceiling, like, like lashing down at you guys. What do you I'm gonna do? keep. I'm gonna move, keep moving out, but firing right. like you know at it. Yeah, at the yeah, same time. The ah, okay, go for it. Give me the shot. Yeah, the exactly. Way out there. All right. Okay. Plus four. Ooh. Okay. Uh, that is ten. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen. It hits no problem. Okay. So two plus two D. Okay. You can do it. Seven. Nine total. Nine. Uh, Your shot pings right off its armor. This thing seems yeah. a lot more hardened. Like you can, as you can see, you can see like its armor is like a little more of the bluish color. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's going to be made out of something just different. All right, uh, but you get into the hallway uh, away from it, so you're not within reach of it anymore. Uh, that would be Kaylee uh, keeps on chugging the Tatiana. You guys see, you guys can see some of the lights up ahead uh, where there's been like you guys came through earlier. You can see like the the glowing paint. This is Rattel with the arrows on it, pointing the opposite direction of where you're going. Um, Olivia, uh, you're in the room with this thing on the ceiling as, it, as it's trying to strike at you guys a few times. Uh, yeah, I'm going to. Um just kind of like move forward to get out of this place, but keep like Kaylee and Titania in front of me. All right, you, you, and, haul, um, you haul up with them. Yeah, you catch up from no problem. And um, shoot while moving. Take your shot on the way out. Okay, All right, so you move up a little bit and you take a shot on the way out. Give me the give me the rifle shot. Yep. Might as well be uh, there. Might as well, right? Yeah, this is the one. This is the one. This aggression was unprovoked, sir. That's a 14. 14. Uh, ooh, does that hit it? That's a good question. Defense. That does hit it. The roll of damage. See. Oh, Skin a no. lot. Oh no, um, that's a nine. Nine damage. Yeah, pink salt. Are you rolling d sixes? Like or is d four? I, mean, I, <laughs> I swear, I'm just rolling a lot of ones. This is, yeah, damage is not your friend. Okay. Damage. But yeah, you uh, you take a shot at it, and uh, yeah, it just pinks right off of it. But you do get in the hallway a little bit. Um, Ko is a, Ko is up there with you. And you guys are kind of like keeping. It. You can see Titania and Callie way down the hallway hauling ass. Um, goes to Michael. All right, uh, I'm going to, after I see the thing going for Phoenix, I'm mm -hmm. going to go ahead and shoot it again. All right, give me the shots. I think you can do it. Believe. Do it. All right. Be a badass. Six, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 hits, no problem. Any doubles? Um, uh, no. No. All right, so just roll damage. Three, six, plus one. All right, that's four, eight, uh, 12, 13. 13 damage. Okay. Uh, 
you put a small dent in it. Ding. <laughs> the ding, the ding, the, the ding is a little lower. It's, it's a less high pitched ding this time. <laughs> yeah. It's a little more of a dunk than a ding. <laughs> um, <laughs> Okay, and do you want to keep on moving? Or you want to stay there and hold yeah, the line? Yeah, I, I want to. Yeah, well, I mean, um, am I closer to it than the well, Phoenix? Is probably closer. You guys are right next. You guys are both pretty equal distance to it. But come you on, can turn. man, come on, let's go. All right. All right, so I you, you, you move towards, the, you move move towards the, the 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 tunnel and the tunnel as it is. Right, uh, yeah, trying yeah, to direct yeah. Phoenix through. Okay, uh, Phoenix, your turn. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna haul ass. Right, you haul uh, ass. You you run past uh, Koa and Olivia and Michael and the only people ahead of you are Titania and uh, Kaylee are way up there. Okay, I'll warm up the ship. All right, um, <laughs> I'm ready to get out of this. And, yeah, and the comms are coming on. You guys can't get a signal out here. Um, mm-hmm. t- Titania, what do you want to do? Do you want to keep on moving or? Uh, I mean, yeah, right. uh, keep on, keep on moving, keep an eye out, obviously. Okay. But uh, um, you, as you guys run up, you come to the T junction. Okay. And you can do left and right. Um, as you do, Kaylee's like, Kaylee's like, hold on, stop, 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 stop. Just make sure no, none are coming from around there. And she kind of like, she doesn't want to like run up past it. She just want to run past it. She wants to like take a look first, like kind of sneak up past okay. it. Okay. You gonna let her do that? Um, yeah, but I'm gonna probably. Oh, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I, 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 God damn it. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna say yeah, but make it quick and be right. careful she, and she, quiet. All right. So she's she's gonna take her turn when she gets her turn to like look around the corner. You can also uh, try to look around the other corner too, but we'll come back to that. Um, this oh, thing, God. this thing, uh, as it's as it's there, uh, it sees it kind of starts crawling along the, the way there, and it goes over to Michael, who's blocking its way, and it tries to like uh, attack Michael. So it tries to take you with the rope. Uh, the rope. I don't think. What is it? What is Michael's defense? Is it um, a twelve? Yeah, it misses you barely, Michael. And then, then the yeah. knife comes out. A blade comes out. Oh, oh, Michael. Oh, sweet baby. Oh, That's no. a twenty-three uh, to hit. Oh. All right. Here, here's where when it when it pulls off some stuff, it's gonna pull off some stuff. Uh, so it's gonna use three of its points to lightning attack, and then it's gonna use two of its po- uh, points to do uh, more damage. So here comes the damage, Michael. Okay. Uh, uh, it hits you for a whopping eight damage. Four. Oh, they have the toughest four, so you take four. And then it tries okay. to hit you with the knife. The knife comes back for another swing. Okay. Oh uh, the second knife swing hit got a sixteen to hit. So I think that strikes you. Yep. And it deals to you a whopping uh, eight damage. Four. So, so eight okay. total. Yeah. Wait, how much fortune you got left? Oh, I got eighteen fortune left. Nice. Eight, you, don't, you don't have eighteen fortune. You should have, you have a cap of uh, twenty fortune. I have twenty. So I only used two. Two, so you have so then plus another. So, oh, after this, so then I take away, so I'm down to. You're down like twelve, 10. Or, ten or something like that, yeah. Ten. Uh, the ten, okay. I don't know, so you got eighteen left. God damn. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 not yeah. after this, okay. before right. this. Okay, gotcha. So yeah, so yeah, you're down to you're down to ten. So the thing's starting to. I'm like, down to ten. Starting to like really push your luck here, and you can feel like it. You feel like it slash across your suit and everything. You're pretty sure your suit's breached. All right, oh. all right, goes back around, uh, Koa. Um, I you mean, if I Michael, see Michael, you can see, you can see Michael tangling this thing. You take it out. Yeah, I mean, you yeah, I'm gonna to take an aim. You have to aim to shoot at without risking hitting Michael. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna aim and right. yeah, I'm basically gonna stop because I don't want to leave all Michael. Right, give me the shot here. All right, so Ooh. plus five. You okay. Hero Mike. You hear Koa. All right, <laughs> seventeen. Seventeen. Okay, uh-huh. now I just got a damage. Hit. You got to right. roll high. <laughs> yeah. Got roll high. Okay. Um. Shit. Ten. Ten. Ding. Ah. Yeah, okay. Waste your turn. All right. Fun time. All right. So co- at least at least Michael knows they got your back. Uh, Callie yeah. goes to the corner and looks around with her light, and she goes, uh, it, "It's clear over here. Uh, uh, give me a give me a scene test real quick, Titania, as you try to like peer around the other corner, see if it's clear." All right. Is, 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 clear? That, per- is that the perception? Perception. Perception. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Holy shit! Okay, three sixes. Oh, okay. Plus oh man, it's clear. Two. Nice. It's clear. Okay. Uh, and Callie, right. Callie runs across the hallway uh, with you hand in hand. All right. Uh, hand in hand. And then we uh, run off into the sunset oh. together. <laughs> All right. Right uh, into the old volcano glass. May everyone burn in hell but us. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Olivia, uh, you're down the hallway here. You can see Coe is like, standing in the ground to shoot back. Uh, your buddy, uh, Phoenix, the pilot, ran off. Michael's there tangling. <laughs> you can see that Michael's like, uh, you can see Michael's been hit a few times. Uh, what do you want to do? Um, I'm going to just get 
Koa moving and out of here. All right, do you need to provoke um, Koa? Okay, get the hell out of here. All right. Get, <laughs> and you your whole ass. Uh, and then he, uh, I think I, I'll, I'm going to stay behind and try to help Michael in my next turn, just to try to shoot it. Uh, so uh, you, you, can take, you can take a shot at it if you want to. Uh, if you want to, if you want to spend your whole turn aiming and shooting, you can do a clean shot on it. Otherwise, if you don't aim, you might, have, you might hit Michael. Yes, I'll aim and I'll All use right, my whole so turn. Give me a roll here. Okay. Um, you don't have to attack it, but you also might want to be careful with your shot. <laughs> All right. right so, yeah. What'd you get to hit? 15 to hit. Huge number. No problem. Easy to hit. It's Old just damage, the damage. Yeah, the damage <laughs> is the damage. problem. Yeah. I, I think you can do it here. You're, you're overdue here, uh, Marcy. Yeah, I think. 3d6 uh, plus 2. That's 14 damage. That's pretty good. All right. Yeah. yeah, you, yeah. You, get nice, you get a nice Ooh. dunk on it. Yeah, you hear it like plink. Uh, that one actually got its attention pretty good. Um, all right. Goes back around to Michael. You were tangling with this thing as it's uh, on the ceiling, I'm, hooked into the ceiling. I'm like, fuck, I'm out of here. Are you going to haul ass? Yeah, I'm going to haul right. ass. All right. Yeah, Michael just starts cutting back, uh, bite, runs right past Koa and Olivia. All right. Good. Uh, Phoenix, uh, you're hauling. Uh, you're going to keep on hauling. You can see that both uh, Titania and Kaylee have kind of looked both ways before crossing the road here, as it would be. Um, do you want to call? They seem to call it clear. I'll look behind me. To, do I see everybody else starting to come this way? Yeah, you see them all starting to move, including Michael Hall and Butt. Yep, I'm gone. Right, I'm running. Gone. Okay. Yeah, let's go. All right, you, go, you keep on moving. All right, Titania, um, you and Kaylee keep on moving. I mean, you're coming up to the area where you're seeing that the uh, that, that airlock is, and you know it takes a little okay. bit of time to cycle. Okay. So, what do you guys want to do? Um, go into it, or do you want to wait for everyone to come into it all at once, or how do you want to... I mean, I... Shit. Will it, will it screw anybody over if I get it cycling, like, now? Because I'm... <laughs> oh, God damn it. Uh, okay, I guess I'm gonna call down the hallway, like, <laughs> like right. asking if I should open it, okay. or, or or at least be like, get the hell over here now before okay. I start cycling okay. this. So yeah, should I start, start, start getting the airlock or, or wait? What do you guys uh, do? You need, I think the only person that could probably like respond to you is Phoenix. Phoenix, what do you what do you think? Wait for me. <laughs> 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 All right. Yeah. So you got you got one vote for wait. Uh, Kaylee's going for it. Kaylee's, Kaylee's going for the airlock. Okay. Um, uh, goes to this thing's turn. Uh, it jumps down the hallway and charges back uh, here. It's got ropes going towards. Uh, Olivia, ropes come out. Olivia, I think that might hit you. I got, I got a 12 to hit. That barely hit you, Olivia. Olivia, you take a whopping um, to uh, you take a whopping uh, three damage. So your toughness actually eats it up. You're you're good. Uh, the the nice. knife does come out and goes after uh, Koa. Koa, a stab of Rooney comes towards you, and mm-hmm. that will be a 14 to hit. I think that gets you. Yeah, yeah that gets me. All right, gonna get you for a whopping. Eight damage. Okay, so seven because I only have one toughness. <laughs> okay, yeah. So you, the, that's uh, my weak, that's my weakness. <laughs> and it does it does cut your suit open. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, a little slash in your suit. All right. As it stands Stop there, the and, and it's like it's like hanging from the ceiling, attacking you guys. It's not getting on the ground. Uh, it goes back to Koa. Um. Okay. I, yeah, I'm just gonna. Fire and I'm gonna be like my suit's ripped, my suit's ripped. I'm gonna just fire and run. Okay, give me the just start running. You fire and yeah. start moving back. Give me the shot. Yeah. Okay. Plus four. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. This this pitch battle is kind of fun here. Yeah. Eight. <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen hit. Hits no problem. <laughs> uh, damage. Okay. Yeah. Fun. All right. Ooh. Uh. Twelve. Twelve, 12 damage. Okay. Yeah. Ding. <laughs> I don't think I can make. I don't think I, think I can actually can. hurt I think, it. I think it's very difficult. Really high. Uh, yeah. With the yes. pistol. All right, uh, goes to uh, Ka- Callie goes in the airlock and she's like, she goes with the, the seal door on the other side and is like, go you piece of junk. And she like, you see her like, um, you see her go over to some of the wires that are on the wall, right? And she starts like messing with the wires. She's gonna kill us all. <laughs> all right, so, um, and you see her look back at you to Tony. She's like, get in here, come on, let's get out of here. And um, yeah, all right. Uh, goes back around uh, to Olivia. Um, yeah, Koa like uh, is taking shots of the thing. You guys are both in melee with it. Uh, Michael's bypassed you. What do you want to do? Run. Run. All right, you just haul ass as fast as you can go. Okay, you, you get Running. really fast. 
All right, goes to Michael. Michael, uh, what do you want to do? You can see back there, you see like um, uh, Olivia starting to catch up to you. You can hear Ko is back there fighting this thing. What do you want to do? It up, baby, the last one. <laughs> <laughs> Michael always dies in our games, guys, for those who don't know. True, <laughs> true. What do you want to do? What do you want to do, Michael? Uh, Don? Uh, Michael, me? Um, Game Michael, have, not real Michael. Uh, so, um, is, is everybody close enough that I could just, like, maybe pull them towards us faster? Uh, like, you, how's, how's, you could probably, you could, Olivia bypass you. Honestly, they're going to run faster on their own. But you could, you could tell Ko okay. to, like, start moving or give them an order. All right. I'll be like, go, 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 y'all. Let's go. Okay. Are you gonna, just, now, what about you? Are you going to keep on going or you want to stand and shoot or what, how you want to do this? Or wait? No, I'm going to keep going. Wait, right, you keep on, you guys keep on hauling. Okay. Uh, you start catching up. You can see as you haul up there, Michael, you can see that in the, in the airlock room, uh, Titania and Kaylee are both in there. Kaylee's like doing something weird to the wall, though. It's unclear. All right. All right. Goes to, um, let's see here, Phoenix. Uh, you can see Kaylee's in the room doing something kind of weird. Uh, Titania's there, like, kind of perplexed by it initially. What do you want to do? Um, well, I will r- Yeah. I'll run into the room. Okay, you run into the room. And you can see Kaylee's, like, got some tools out and seems to be trying to, like, cut wires to, like, try to do something to the walls. Like, do not hook this stuff up. We still got people coming in. Wait. Says we gotta lock the doors. We gotta make sure those things don't get in here. Get in here quick, 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 quick. We gotta get everybody in no, here. No, they're, they're done for. If they're they're trying to fight that thing. They're stupid. They're, that's their own problem. And she's like, she's like, looks like she's trying to mess with it more. Okay, goes to uh, to Tanya's turn. To Tanya, you can see that like Kaylee's like actually trying to like trigger the airlock room to try to lock everyone out. Oh shit! Fuck. I want to try to knock her out. Um... Okay. I mean, you got a pistol. You could go pistol whip her. That's what I'm thinking, but I'm I'm just trying to think. After so after we like if we get through the other side of this airlock, are we still in a place where there's more monsters and having an unconscious uh, that goes person? To pretty much the surface. Gonna... That pretty much goes to the surface of the okay. planet. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, the main and monster her, out there is vacuum. Her suit is it, fine, right? Like she's got a vac suit on. Yeah, she's got a vac suit on. Yeah. That. Okay, all right. I'm gonna do my best to just. Hit her over the back of the head well, with my. A, I should mention she, has a, she doesn't have a helmet on in the back suit like all of you guys. So oh she, duh, shit! Yeah. Never mind. Hold on, hold on. I mean, hold you, can on. Pull, um, you can try to pull her off the thing, try to stop her from doing the work. I'm not very strong though. I, I feel know, like I distraction, distraction. I mean, neither are toddlers, I feel like but I'm, hard to throw a punch. Right. I feel like I'm more <laughs> dis, more uh, like persuasive than okay. I am. Oh, well, you can you can, you can try to say this, this is the way to go. Right. Like, okay. Huh? I I think I kind of like grab her by the shoulders, a to just give us okay. more time where her hands are not physically on those wires, okay. but also okay. being like, hey, like we saved you, and you know I didn't want to leave you behind because like that's just not what people do. Is okay. this really how you want to think? The people yeah. that saved you, like they're almost here. Just wait a minute. We'll get like we'll get you out. Just calm down. Give like, me the persuasion stop check. Stop with the wires. Give me, give me the persuasion check. Oh god, okay. Told you come handy. I totally, th- I totally I, thought you were gonna pistol whip her on the stream. Yeah. I would have been like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, I got two so I got yeah. two sixes oh, wow. and a one. Yeah, you're good. That's a plus high. six. <laughs> yeah, not a problem. We get, we, um, you yeah. actually take a second and you really can I'll let you use some stunts here, which are basically gonna be like um impress her or something like that. You you basically like she kinda stops and she goes she goes she, I'm, I'm sorry, okay, okay, come on, let's get him in the room, let's get him in the room, and she's like, she stops what yeah. she's doing. All right, you do manage to persuade her to stop trying to uh, basically trigger the room early. Okay. Good job. Uh, go yeah, stop hot wiring the, the damn airlock. Koa, yeah. this, Koa, you're locked in the other thing. It it tries to uh, hit you with the ropes again. Uh, the ropes don't do, do nothing. They're getting pretty easy to avoid. The knife book comes out. The knife, well, that's pretty good. 16 to hit. Yeah, uh, who's it going for? You. Me? Oh, yeah, yeah, that hits me. Uh, you're going to take a whopping uh, five damage. Okay. How much force you got left? Uh, nine. Nine? Nine, no, you're not too bad. You're okay. You can do some dice roll I'm manipulation. S- I'm standing. I'm right. standing. Yeah. And it, it, like, uh, yeah, it, it starts trying to, like, uh, make sure you're not leaving since it's trying to get stabby with you. Uh, goes to uh, Koa's turn. What do you want to do? Oh, I'm just bolts. Well, I'm okay. just going to run yeah, as fast as you can. You guys also running as fast as you can. All right. Uh, goes to uh, Olivia. Uh, you just keep on running, or uh, I'm gonna look back at Koa to make sure Koa is Koa's, catching, Koa's up. catching up to you. Yeah. Okay. Is All everyone right. catching up? Yeah, everyone seems like they're trying to go for it. quite a few of them are ahead of you. You're you're the dead center of the pack. Fantastic. Right. Yeah, I'm just 
going up. Michael, leave. Uh, what about you? You want to keep on running? Hell yeah. All right, you keep on running. Ko is in the back now. Uh, goes to Phoenix. Uh, you're in the room now. Uh, Ke- you know, Kaylee seems to like kind of realize it. It's rooting everyone to get in the room as soon as possible. What are you going to do, Phoenix? Um, you can't see the, not- and you can't see the thing. It's way down there. I'm just going to. I'm going to ready my gun towards okay. the doorway. Okay, so if you see the thing, you can pop at it. Okay. Uh, to Tanya, uh, I, you know, Kaylee seems on board now. She's waiting for it. She's encouraging her friends. Anything you want to do? Really? Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm definitely going to ke- tell her to, like, be ready to get back at okay. it at a moment's notice. But I think I'm also going to ready my weapon, even though I don't know what I'm doing. It just okay. makes me feel a little bit safer. So we're sticking that little pistol awesome. I barely know awesome. how to use out the door. Okay. Um, like Phoenix. This thing, this thing starts running, hauling ass down the. Um, you can hear it like running across the ceiling here. Uh, Koa, it is a tad faster than you, and it manages no. it manages to catch up to you. And it, uh, you can feel like the ropes trying to whip back at you. They try to like grab you. Uh, the okay. ropes whip at you, and they, you can feel them grabbing your legs, but they never quite sink in enough to like pull you back in. Like it's trying to suck you back down the the, the tunnel you came out of. All right, Koa, you want to keep on running or? <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, is there any way I can fix the breach of my suit as I'm running? I'm just like, ah. uh, that's a full action to do. You'd have to stop. And okay, do that. no, I'll just keep running you, you then until I get the in there. It takes time to cycle, so then you might be yeah. able to do yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, goes back around. Um, everyone else, you guys get into the airlock, no problem. Uh, this thing though takes one last grab at Koa on the way in. Oh. <laughs> Koa. Roll, roll a uh, grapple test. Rolls is fighting test. Okay. Oh my what god. What is it? Uh, strength. Don't get yoinked. Strength, yeah, fighting. It's fighting. Okay, fighting. Do not get a, yoinked. Yeah, I'm a plus okay, one. Okay, so uh, I got okay. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. It grabs you, and you guys see it like uh, as you guys like <laughs> as you, like, as you, as you, yeah, you take your shot at it real quick here. Uh, yeah, see if, you, see if you can do something to it. Hey, double size. Oh, pretty Ten. Good. 17, 18, I that think. Hits. And you got you got a bunch of stun points. So you can do a lightning attack against it and do the extra damage um, if you want to. Nice. I'll do that. All right. So go ahead and uh, uh, roll the 3d6 on it with your pistol. Plus your bonus, plus your bonus whatever the, that is. And then... Uh, 15 damage. 15 damage. Okay. Yeah. Uh, roll, your, roll your second attack against it. That did something to it. Nice. 11, 12, 13, uh, 15. 15 hits. Give me the damage on that. And that's just the two just, damage. Just, yeah, it's just 2d6 plus whatever your bonus is. Uh, I believe you can do it, though. What'd you get? Only six. Six, yeah, that one that one dinks off. So your shot rings out, and you see it kind of, you can see it kind of wince, but it does manage to grab a uh, Koa, and you guys see it, like, start dragging Koa back down the hallway. Um, and Koa, you take you take a whopping, um, as, as it drags you back, uh, you take another uh, three points of damage. Okay. So, two, okay. so you guys see Koa being dragged down the hallway here. Um, as you do, uh, the airlock starts to kind of seal a little bit. Like it's just, it's like you can see like the light starting to flicker on it. Uh, do you guys want Kaylee's like, I-, I can stop the airlock if you want to get your friend. I- 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 what do you want to do? Uh, get our friend, get our friend. Yeah, I'm voting to go for him. All right, all right. Um, Risking Olivia, it all, you guys. <laughs> Olivia, you can still see Koa in the distance being dragged off by this thing. You're welcome to take a shot at it if you want to. Yeah, I'll I take really, a shot. I really want to see Marcy actually do some, do some damage to this thing. Yeah, I would love to. <laughs> yeah, I'll use my rifle, all aim, right, and shoot. All right, give me the aim and shot. Don't here. even aim, because if you miss, you could just take me out. So yeah. yeah. Let's see. Oh, no. Um, that's a 12. That's a 12 to hit? That'll do it. It's not hard to hit. And then uh, I rolled double threes. Double threes, so you can just do d6 on it, so you can roll 46 damage on it. Yay! Uh, plus your bonus, so yeah, that's a pretty good shot. That, to... Jeff, yeah, that's a 46, chance. 46 plus 2 is pretty good. Uh, 14 damage. 14 damage. Your shot rings true, it hits it. It does something to it, but it's still standing. Uh, Michael, you want to take a shot at it too? Yep, yeah, right. buddy. Just get up. And you're Koa, like you're deafened by the, the you can feel like the the shots and the this you're wriggling trying to free yourself. Six. Get it off me! Get four, it off me! <laughs> 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's no problem. Give me damage. All right. You can do it. I think I, I believe uh, in the three, big man. Six, eight, uh, ten. Ten. Dink. Oh, not enough. Not enough. Fuck. 
much. I'm going All to right. the sleeping bags. I'm All going right. to the sleeping Phoenix. bags. Phoenix, what do you want to do here? I'll try another you shot at it. Give a shot at it. Let's make it happen here, buddy. Kill oh, me. Just kidding. <laughs> 19 to yeah, hit. No problem. Uh, and I had double sixes and a five on the drama die. That's, yeah, you can you can do the vicious blow along with the um, lightning attack. Fourteen damage for the Ooh. first one. Ooh, okay, all right. Nice. Uh, second shot. Second attack. Fourteen on the second attack. Hits. hits. Oh, damage. nice. Let's see if you can finish the job here. Finish the fight. Double five, so ten. Ten. Double all right. Five. Does nothing to it. However, though, uh, Koa, you suddenly feel like the grasp on you slip, and it seems to like it, you, you hear it like going chittering. Like all of a sudden, you're no longer being dragged, and you can feel like the things just running down the hallway the opposite direction. Oh, nice! Yeah, I, I'm just gonna yeah, run. run. Yeah, the irons, yeah. Begin, the irons start to close, and then you jump through it, and you, you guys get through the airlock here. It cycles, and you take some seconds to patch up your suits, check everyone out. Yeah. Um, you guys take a manage to catch your breath for a moment here. The um, Kaylee's like come over the comms is like I didn't, I, I didn't think we'd make it out of there. Uh, uh, uh. Neither did me. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, we almost did it. Yeah. <laughs> but thanks to you, we did. So thank you for not closing uh, the door on everyone, girl. Yes. You we're gonna close the door. <laughs> <laughs> Never on you, Koa. <laughs> All right. Oh. You guys start, you guys, the door opens up and you can see the surface of the jagged rocks. Very different than the smooth interior. You start walking across the surface. Um, what's your goal here? Do you guys want to go back uh, to the ship? Do you want to go back to... Um... To the ship is my vote. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Start, Same. Let, let's talk about what happened. Effort back to the ship. It takes a while for the, for, but your signal comes back to the captain. And he, uh, he goes, he goes, crew, you there? Michael, you there? Hassan, chime in. Woo, check in. We're, we're alive. Any survivors? Uh, yes. Plus. <laughs> Ooh, no. Plus one. We got a plus one. All right. The, um, as you guys come across the, you guys start moving across the, the lunar surface. Um, I do need someone here to roll a D6 for a churn effect 20. Yes. Who wants to roll it? We got Marcy again? Not it. Yeah. Marcy, right. roll Marcy. Just, Marcy's roll one d six. Okay, do it. That's a three. A three. As you guys come across it, um, you feel a slight. You feel like initially a very slight rumbling, and then a much stronger rumbling. As you look back, you can see the rattle, and uh, and various pieces of glass are shattering off of it of the, of the ground, and you can see the rattle start to sink into the ground as it does. As it as it is, also you can see that the ground starts to shatter with the volcanic glass surface here coming towards you all of you are unclear if not if that if that's gonna uh buckle underneath you or not and whether or not you can outrun it to get back to uh the miriam makaba oh man and that's, where, I... and that's where we're gonna end it <laughs> oh <laughs> we're gonna end on that cliffhanger of whether or not you could run fast enough across the surface of this volcanic glass Nice. To not sink in or not. Well, not we just did up. some some distance running, so I think yeah. we're, you know, <laughs> some of you are more, 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 more tapped than others on this situation. All right, yes. uh, you get your survivor. Okay, well, awesome. Oh man, that was well, awesome. That yeah. was our little uh, quick start adventure, Lost but Not Alone by Green Roni. Uh, that was you guys cool. Want to check this out awesome. and having some fun with it. Uh, let me, let me go around the table real quick and uh, ask what what was your favorite part? What did you enjoy? What what went well? What, uh, how'd it go? It's uh, who wants to start? It's it's the horror. And it's always <laughs> amazing. Yeah, I, I like the um the the beacon and the ship exploration part actually was creeping me out more than the actual tunnel, oh, but yeah. it all was really cool. Yeah. yeah. Good good build up. Yeah, one hundred percent. Okay. Yeah, yeah just... I, I oh I'm sorry. No, go, no, ahead. Go, no, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I definitely liked like the you know the the creepiness the sci-fi horror element, but I also just really enjoyed getting to play kind of a different kind of belter that yeah. isn't just tough in the stereotypical way that you might think, uh, but is still pretty desperate to prove herself and make herself useful. <laughs> Please give me bullets. That was fun. 
Yeah, I think the, the pre-made characters have a lot of places you can kind of make your make them your own. They have really good descriptions in here too, but at the same time, yeah. there's plenty of room to. Yeah, to make yeah. Them. I kind of played her a little different from her, you know, the way she was written, but uh, it's it's fun. Very it's cool. It's a good jumping Very. off point. Uh, Marcy or Donna? Uh, I can jump in. Yeah. Um, yeah. I thought uh, the creature was really uh, interesting, and it made me curious about like all of the whole system, uh, like. Are we in like a larger body? Why is there an airlock if it's mm. just going to attack us? Yeah. Uh, so there's a whole lot of like mystery stuff that I'm like very interested in uh, learning like more about. It's definitely like a cool little hook. Um, and, I'm, and I had a lot of fun with this one. Okay. Yeah, I like that mystery about that. You know, it's like all of a sudden we have atmosphere. Mm. It's like, yeah. how would, how would, how would, how, whoever. How would they even know what would be a good atmosphere for us? Mm -hmm. Right? Is it the same for these creatures? Well, you, you weird, her, but once again, you have to remember the builder's bias is that they had they had oxygen-based atmospheres on yep, one G yep, planet. Yep. They had a similar uh, disposition as us. So yeah, it's it's kind of interesting in that regard. That or maybe they read your genetic code and they knew what you needed. Yeah. You know, creepy. It could be. It's all kinds of stuff. So, and that's again one of the biggest, one of the fun parts about the expanse RPGs. You can do all these kind of cool different things. And um, I like this adventure a lot because it has a lot of different places we could go with it. I will say I added in the um, my little touch was the end with the surface collapsing. Oh, that's that was cool. Yeah, I like morning. that. Yeah, I think that's a cool cliffhanger because either like the ship's like now like really in there, or yeah. like you have to do a lasting, lasting adventure, try to get out of there, or can you ever get back in there? Or what's going on? So I, I added a few flourishes here, um, like the captain of the ship wasn't in there. There's just supposed to be just you guys in the ship. Um, yeah. But I also kind of had to worry about like maybe you won't leave someone back at the ship, which kind of makes sense. Um, but yeah, cool stuff, guys. And will the ship be there when you get there? Ooh. Yeah, I mean, exactly. You know, it's it just like one of the things I was thinking of, like when we first saw the creature, was like, oh, what is it? Because we react violently. Mm -hmm. If that, if the, because we are more likely to be violent, if like how the story would have gone if we had tried to communicate or if we had tried Arlay. something, yeah, yeah, or just something to let, let, let it do its job. Yeah, yeah it would just, just like yeah. let it clean up and do its job, and we just kind of hung. We were out like, there. we were trying, we were trying yeah. to help you. We put everything in little sleeping bags, you know, <laughs> <laughs> here to sleep yeah. up that. Yeah, so it's like interesting to see which direction this yeah. would have gone based on how we had the first encounter. 100%, yeah. No, and I, I like, I always like a creepy, a creepy spaceship's really cool. They actually had a, a table in here of creepy stuff that could happen on the ship, which was like the frozen blood, the note, the note was Yeah, like I liked part. all that. The yeah, suit, I liked I mean, the all note that was very, and the blood, and yeah. Yeah, yeah. Was it was very visual, you know, it's like every yeah. space horror yeah. thing, yeah, they, I liked I, it. I won't kid you, about half of this is ship description. Like, mm. they, they did a pretty good job describing the creepiness of the ship, so I really enjoyed that and everything, too. And, yeah, that's uh, cool. The light, and you kind of you get to unearth early, like, like how the, the mystery of the ship and who's on the ship and what happened. Uh, and the light, so that's really cool, yeah. Uh, and I need this book now. Yes, yes, yeah. September, uh, we're looking forward to the, to the backer kit for this and everything, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing more expansive stuff and a whole new, uh, much more of the RPG. We will continue to do Amorex Christmas forever because that's all I do with my life and the like, so... <laughs> All right. Hey, well, thanks everyone for hanging out with us and playing with us. Uh, Green Running, thanks again for this. Uh, thanks to everyone at Green Running, Chris, Steve, Ian, Troy, all you folks, you guys uh, for letting us do this and having a lot of fun with this. It's been a really cool stuff. We had fun play testing this and uh, just yeah. hanging out. So on a, on a Sunday afternoon here, it is a Sunday for us. So we don't know when you're watching yeah. this, but whatever. All right, you guys all have a have a good one. Uh, but thank you very much for joining us for Lost, but not alone. Later. Bye. Bye.